That's so fucking random. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Cheese. It tastes good. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just very fucking random. Like some rumple mints. <laughs> Welcome to BAF. So uh, this uh, this is our Halloween episode. We've done a, a great amount of episodes this month. We've had uh, Terrifier we one and two. We did twenty eight days and twenty eight days later. All right, be twenty eight uh, weeks and then we did 20, not do twenty eight tw days twice. No, twenty eight days and twenty eight weeks. I got it's tongue twister. Uh, Bordello of Blood, Demon Knight, The Night of Living Dead versus Night of Living Dead, fun episode. Uh, seriously, we got some great episodes and the Terrifier 1 and 2, if I didn't uh, say that one. But now yeah. we are finally on the end where we're doing Chase's episode, which he's been I talking about doing like for me. years. Dragging it out? 13 Something ghosts. Like that, yeah. Something like that. What? What the fuck? 13, what? 13 ghosts. So, yes. Chase. Okay. And you picked the drink, so what are yep. we drinking today? So, uh, to honor, obviously, the fantastic breakout movie, uh, 1960, um, 13 Ghosts. It was a great one. The original. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, you want me to go ahead and get the details for no, the, that's uh, the, the show we're was doing? Was it 60 or 61? 60. Okay. I've seen both of them. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> no, we are talking about the revamp. Yes. Uh, the 1960 was great as well, but... To uh, commemorate Maggie, who saved the day with her black girl magic. <laughs> <laughs> it works. She, no, she fucking that. saved the day with the magic of DJing shit. That was cool. <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> Okay. That scared the fuck out of Ron. No, it really <laughs> did. <laughs> yes, After it you did. told me that was going to hit me, I mean, yeah, it made me jump a little bit. Sorry. Who's the pussy now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm doing it. You're doing what? Taking it for the team. There you go. I drank that that shit almost doing. came back down and hit me in the nuts, too. Like, it was that close from hitting me in the balls. <laughs> there you go. All right, while we're, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and do the details. So the details of the movie 13 Ghosts was uh, released October 26, 2001. Steve Beck has directed it. He only directed two movies. Yeah. 13 Ghosts and Ghost Ship. That's it. This movie has a lot of one-timers. Yeah. Ghost Ship is amazing. Ghost, Ghost Ship, Ship is yeah. fun. Ghost Ship Arguably is fantastic. one of the greatest openings. Uh, yes. Yeah. Hell yeah, it is. Openings. Fuck yeah, it is. 13 Ghosts had a budget of $42 million. At box office, it made $68.5 million. So it made some money back worldwide. So still not a money, you know, a big budget box office hit, but you know, it made its money back. All oh, their money went to the house. Yes. The cast of 13 Ghosts include Tony Shalhoub as Arthur. We got Emmeth Davids as Kalina. Matthew Lillard as monk. Dennis. Shannon Elizabeth <laughs> as Kathy. Alec Roberts as Bobby. J.R. Bourne as Benjamin Ross. Rod Digga as fuck. Maggie Best. Bitch, Who's what Rod the fuck? That is fucked. Damn. You fucking hooker. What'd you do? You can just have we got there's a bottle right there. <laughs> yeah, just pour yourself a glass. Spin it a little bit, so Fine. <laughs> who's Rod? Just sit <laughs> on it. Okay, here's the right. difference. Hawk to us. <laughs> Who, who's Rod Digger? Huh? Who's Rod Digger? Rod Digger? Yeah. Yeah, he dig a rod. That rod. That's the that's the black chick. Rod Digger? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. R-A R H uh hey Digger. It even says uh, it in the movie Maggie. at the credits as Maggie. Maggie. That was Maggie. That's Maggie then. Yeah, but who is she? Is that a rapper? No, I'm thinking I don't know if y'all knew. I don't she, know if y'all ever heard of it. In the scary movies? No, no, no. no. I know. I, no, I, I know. I recognize her from something. Racism. 
no, fuck you. <laughs> and then the amazing F. Murray Abram is uh, Cyrus, and you know him yes. from Amadeus, so many other movies. Amadeus, Amadeus. Great job in that. Uh, also, the um, other movies that came out around the same time. Let's see here. We got Training Day, another good movie. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, Serendipity, never seen that one. Uh, Corky Romano, that's a fucking uh-huh. stupid movie. Uh, Mulholland Drive from uh, David Lynch, which I know I you're like. a fan of. Oh, yeah. Mulholland Drive. Mulholland. Oh, it's Mulholland? Oh, Mulholland. okay. Sorry. Uh, from Mulholland. Hell. Mulholland Drive. Mulholland, Mulholland Drive. <clears throat> yeah. From Hell huh? with Johnny Depp. Yeah. Uh, riding in Cars with Boys. K-Pax. I think K-Pax. That's, that's a good one. That's what was Spacey where he thinks yeah. he's an alien or something like that. Uh, and then we also have Donnie Darko. Which is apparently a cult classic. Yeah, that's a good a fucking movie. Okay, I take it back. Rom was right. She was a rapper. She is. Yeah, her real name is uh, Rashia Fisher, um, but she's especially known as Raw Digga, an American rapper and actress. I've never heard her music. Yeah. That's crazy. I, I, um, a long time. She was in of the Flip Mode squad. squad. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be why. And outside the hip hop group led by Busta Rhymes. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. yeah. So that's the uh, details for the movie, so yeah. there you go. Yeah, so um, we got Black Girl Magic. We're going to start with a little bit of a drink. It is a champagne. Champagne. Oh. All right. Skull. Prost. Clinky, oh. clinky. Stinky, stinky. <sighs> oh. I've never been a big champ. It is not my palate, but as champagnes go, it's actually not too bad. It's what a champagne is. It's what a lower cost champagne should strive for. I think this is our second champagne on the show. Didn't we do a champagne before? Yeah, we did one for Jurassic Park. Was it for Jurassic Park? uh, Yeah. um, Goop brought that. Yeah, that's right. The one that they uh, opened up in the trailer. um, You did one too, right? Did I? I probably did. I don't remember what for. What did you do it? I don't even remember. I know. I remember the one that uh, we got did. over two hundred episodes on the books. I I don't remember shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Did we do Crystal? Or did you guys? Were, no, were, no. Were, that was gonna be something? that was gonna be uh, uh, any given Sunday, but we never got it. So uh, okay. Goot went with something with the Elijah Craig, I believe. That's not bad. The Toasted Barrel, I believe. No. <clears throat> Is what it is. I thought it'd be cool. Champagne's not my thing. I like the bottle. Great name. And then, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great name. I give credit to that. I, I'm i going to say it tastes the way I imagined the jackal smelled. <laughs> um, <laughs> not good. Oh, not good. Maybe it's because it's, it's warm. Yeah, I, I, I fucked up. When I got here, I should have put it in the fridge. Yeah. <sighs> um. That th- I think honestly, with it chilled, it would be yeah would chilled. I think lighten would, it up a lot. Yes. It's, it's very heavy for a champagne. It it is, but when you have a warm, if it's warm, it's yeah. going to be kind of kind of. So, this, but but based on the way it's served, I got to rate it on the way it's served, and yeah, no, that's fair. based on that, it is a um a thumbs down, one thumbs down. Um, it's not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's not. Good. <laughs> I wouldn't, yeah, no, I wouldn't want to celebrate. Are you this. a fan of champagne? Huh? Are you a fan I, of champagne? I, I can enjoy champagnes. Yeah. This I'm not. I'm. Yeah. Um, I'll go next. Two thumbs down. I I don't like champagne. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, I tried many times champagne when people do it for New Year's. I'm like, nah, I can skip that. I'd rather have a, a shot of whiskey or something like that. I I just don't like champagne. I. This has a little bit of a weird aftertaste afterwards. I mean, I understand everybody likes all those sparkly and shit, but. I mean, like I said, I give, you know what? I'll give it a uh, a one thumb down because I do give credit for the bottle and the yeah. name. You did a good job on that. That's that's perfect, perfect for the movie. But the drink itself, well, uh, it's it's that's a no fair. go for me. I just, but you know, for people that like champagne, they might like it. I mean, I, I'm not a champagne I, I connoisseur. Think, so. I think if chilled, yeah, it's probably not a pretty solid option at the price point. Yeah, I, what's I, the price point? Like I would think it was like twenty seven bucks. <laughs> How much? It was like twenty seven bucks. It wasn't much. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. What'd yeah. So one thumb down. What'd I give it half a thumb. That's fair. It's not bad, honestly. The name is name perfect. perfect. The name is perfect for for the re- uh, excuse you. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I'm so classy with it. my champagne now. 
Um, they're perfect for the reason you bought it. Overall, it's not that fucking bad. It's really not. There, yeah. There's worse. There's worse wines out there. There's worse champagne out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a very low grade. Mm -hmm. Champagne. What's, what's that? What's that other one that everybody gets for for New Year's? Cristal. That's Cristal, I believe. Uh, no, uh, Cor Corbel. Corbel. Uh, Corbel. It's very on par with Corbel. How much is the price point of those? Psst. Hey. Psst. Oh, thank you. Thinky, thinky. Psst, psst. <laughs> oh, buddy. I didn't know you opened it in front of me. Can you give me a towel, please? Oh, I just put water on my road cast. the board? Oh, no. I didn't know that she had oh, it open. Oh, no. Somebody spilled it all over the board. That's a party foul. Oh. I'll it for you. Well, I'll spin the wheel because it's a party foul. I fucked up, so I'll no, spin the no, wheel. No, no. I'm just fucking with you. No, I don't no, mind. I'm just... That's fine. You volunteered here, dude. I, it was a party foul. I have no. Pr I, I have admittance to it, so I'll go ahead. Shut the it. fuck up, <laughs> Adam. What's yours? I, I'm going to raise my score up to a one thumb down, just because of the name. Fair it enough. Okay. Meets me. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> 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 and I don't drink. It just. Ugh. No, I didn't. Like it. Fair. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think some people, like I said, a lot of people are into champagne. Some people are not. Like it's 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 a sparkly wine, basically, isn't it? Uh, it. Yes, like a but sparkly no. white wine, maybe. Um, so a, a white wine is going to be a lot more, uh, a lot it's sweeter. It's an actual champagne. Though. Mm, I doubt it's. I, you could get the bottle over there. It's more than likely uh, made here in America. Sparkling brut. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's it's got that that darker earthy tone to it that a champagne would usually have. Right. Darker. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, wh whereas, like a white wine is usually more of, more of a, a sweetened flavor. Yeah, white Very wine. <laughs> Sue, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going. Active He's listening. just repeating what you're saying. <laughs> That's just all. Active listening. That's all. I'm spinning the wheel because I, I is a party foul right there. So. Oh no, penis! It's back to penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bouncy dick. That's a bouncy dick. <laughs> well, I'm getting punished. And it's clean and everything. I, I apologize. Yes, it for is. You. Thank I'm you, Snow. Gonna, Appreciate there you it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice clean cock. Fuck. Better than a dirty cock. Right? That's true. Yeah. That's fair. All so right, that, so our next segment we are going somebody to Somebody isolate do, that, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> next segment we are going to do before we get into the movie is it's Halloween, so of course we have treats. Uh, last year we did uh, the you have treats. Asian Kit Kat bars, and uh, this year we are doing disgusting treats. Uh, I talked to the guys about this earlier, I think within the last couple of months, and everybody was for it. So everybody was uh, thinking this would be funny. Awesome. So... Uh, we're going to try first pickle flavored cotton candy. I'm intrigued. Yeah. It, I'm down with that. It literally <laughs> smells like oregano, actually. I don't know. That's kind of fucking weird. So Is that what you bought from your dealer back in high school? <laughs> Does that smell like oregano? A little bit, yeah. It smells like oregano. It's <laughs> weird. So go oh. ahead and grab a chunk out of there. Has it gone bad? No, you wanted to try this out, didn't you? I Okay, so got my piece right here. The fuck? Stop cotton finger candy. fucking it, man. I don't just, like cotton candy. Just pass around it. I'll keep it. I'll just keep it on going around. You know the meanest thing I've ever seen is feeding cotton candy to raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> I can and that. they go to fucking they go to rinse it off and it just disappears. And you're like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it really smells like oregano. That's fucking weird. Does it smell like oregano? Yeah, a little bit. All right, guys. So pickle flavored cotton candy. So here we go. Uh, Adam, you get yours. I got mine. All right, here we go. Oh God, that's fucking that's horrible. Dill. That's dill. It's dill. It tastes, like it. but it tastes <laughs> sweet too. It's not bad. It's got like a sugary taste to it. It tastes like fireworks smell. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah it's not bad. Not bad? Yeah. Okay, All right. Oh, wow. Uh, 
<laughs> you want to wow it? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, tastes, it tastes like fireworks. So the next thing on our little treats, disgusting treats we have, we have chocolate-covered mealworms. So this is uh, some insects that we're going to be eating. And uh, let's see how many we got here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So Perfect. You got okay. perfect. Plenty for everybody. how much are these? Because I, I like I really want to <laughs> set up a trick or treat bowl with these in it. Uh, uh, that was like seven ninety nine for the eco friendly bag. Yours? Oh, that is eco friendly. They're supposed to be a lot cheaper than that. <laughs> oh, eco eat. So, like you should be able to get like it looks like there's six in there, so they'll be like one of those over. fry so one of the serving boxes full of these for seven dollars. Yeah. I don't know how he's getting. What was that? Sick. Good luck. <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot more than six. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I then. And my name's Ron, and I can't fucking count. They were all pressed <laughs> together. I thought it was five or six. So I don't know. All right. So chocolate covered mealworms. So everybody. Cheers. See. Actually, those are pretty good. Just tastes like chocolate and crunch. <laughs> A little bit of dirt. It's not, not bad. Mealy. I was expecting no. <laughs> wasn't bad at all. The meal is in the inside. Well, less wormy than I'd expect too. Yeah, no, that actually wasn't bad at all. So let's see. We're going into chocolate covered or I white call, chocolate covered grasshoppers. Yeah. I am going to eat a tarantula. Who's going to eat the other one? You twice. No, I, I <laughs> said one other person gets to volunteer. If you don't, then it's just going to sit here, I guess. You said then that you, you, you want to eat it? sit there. Oh, I'll try something. All right, then we'll give you a tarantula. Yeah, what do you mean you're going to try you try some of it? <laughs> so first, who wants white chocolate? Who wants chocolate grasshopper? <coughs> white chocolate is just lies. I want regular chocolate. All right, so grab one out of there. You guys want white chocolate or? I'm having a friend. Well, no, that's just a bonus right there. Just me and you are going to do it. Yeah, yeah because there's more, more of these. bugs. Okay. <laughs> Okay, fine. Then you me and you will eat the trash. I'll even take a chocolate if there's one available. If not, I'll take a white chocolate. I don't Doesn't know. Matter. Chase has the. I'm bag working over on there. it. Hold on, I gotta give you some of the legs. <laughs> chocolate grasshopper? <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'll come what? Here. what? <laughs> it fell apart. <laughs> You're giving him more. <laughs> No, I'm getting I'm getting the big piece right there. What are you talking about? I have two more chocolate grasshoppers. <laughs> I got the Chase, give me the chocolate thorax. one. Oh no! There we go. <coughs> what do you mean you got? Uh, why do you think you got the big piece? I got the thorax. <laughs> Hold on! What the fuck do you got? <laughs> I got a whole He's over here at eating ass. I, it's two tarantulas. I got a whole thing with a whole bunch of legs. Yours are missing legs. <laughs> I got I got legs. Yeah. I got one, two. I got the legs. I got the more. arms. You got two, you said? I got two legs here, and yeah, I, this yeah, one's I got... got one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> so, either way, yours is missing legs. I hope somebody got that off. reference. <laughs> this is a <laughs> cho uh, chocolate covered tarantula. It's a tiny tarantula. Yeah. It's, it's just a baby. Oh wow! You can see the eyes. Cheers, and Adam. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Ew, you can hear the crunching. You're fucking doing that on purpose too. It's crunchy. You can't keep your mouth fucking shut. There's no chocolate taste to it. What the fuck? Oh, Rod, dirty. Take that's just a little crunchier. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot crunchier. Yeah, you know what, dude? It reminds me of clothes. um. The scorpions. He never for, fucking does. No, he doesn't. It's fucking insane. I want to slap him every single time. Why? You chew like a fucking cow with your goddamn <laughs> mouth open. I don't know. Chew is good. good. What do you mean? You don't know. <laughs> I've never. Chewing is calm stuff. You got lips. <laughs> use them. Actually, that wasn't bad. It didn't really. Then why were you sitting there? <laughs> no, I was trying to trying to figure out the cr the the crunch, but I was trying to figure out where the chocolate taste was because I didn't taste any chocolate on that whatsoever. So what does tarantula cha taste like? I don't know, but that grasshopper just <laughs> turned into like Fucking small dirt. little particle like yeah. particles. Yeah, uh -huh. it's just like can't get the, it out of my mouth. <laughs> the grasshopper <laughs> lit. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, but it felt like I was che chewing on mice on mouse bones. Did you taste any of the white chocolate or the chocolate on yours? 
on your uh, I mean, grasshoppers? Taste, taste tastes the like chocolate. chocolate. That's it. That's the thing. Did you taste any chocolate in your? Not at all. That's what I mean. It just tasted like crunchiness. That's all it was. It reminded me of the uh, scorpion that we had. So it was different. Spiders are gone. And uh, what is this in here? I'm just gonna fuck. Were you afraid they were come? Are you afraid they were gonna jump up and come after you? Or oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh. <laughs> no, it's just the that's, pre. That's a penis that's with pre, pre cum on it. Pre yeah. All right. Video now. Yeah, I know. So we, she, uh, Snow. You got to make the dick nice and pretty. A nice little. Uh, this is that whipped cream vodka, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's a caramel one. Oh, okay. This it should be a nice flavor profile with one. Depending on what the fuck is underneath here. So Surprise, motherfucker. We got something in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one last candy. I'll get you another <laughs> another clot of uh, of hot uh, sauce. <laughs> all right, so this is fried clot. chicken candy. It smells like it smells like expired dog treats. Great. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like oh. like the milk bone treats. Yeah. Cool. Great. Okay, if it melts, I'll put more on top. All right, fried chicken. Sorry, I just gotta get over his laptop. Oh, these aren't chewy. These are these are these are hard. Hard candies. Great, it's gonna last. Oh, oh, there goes yeah, that I'm tooth. Not, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I think I took my crown off. You Hey, dumb dumb. Did you just make a dental emergency on my show? This candy yes. does not taste good at all. Yeah, well. Oh. It does not just taste suck any it. better. Don't you don't have to chew, you can suck. I'm not gonna suck it at all <laughs> goddamn show. Fuck you. Absolutely Take not. Take a couple sucks and you can just spit it out. I don't care. There. Where? Where? Here. Okay. There, right there. Just take a couple of shots. Can... That's where mine ended up. <laughs> that is trash. All right. As long as it's not like, you know, the same roll of liquor where, you know, I'd have to keep. Yeah. Is that your crown, too? No. Probably. I thought I lost my I thought I lost my crown. Now he just cracked his tooth. <laughs> Tastes like doing it. I said it expired dog treat. Yeah, not good. <laughs> so the, all right. So out of everything we did, which one was the worst? That. Really? <laughs> yeah. So the no, front. Gonna... Everybody thought that this was going to be like the easiest one. You thought this was the most disgusting tasting. I, I, I don't. He does. Uh, I do. All right. So. So that's a question. Yeah. Everybody. So, so yours bad. is. What is your worst one? That fried chicken candy we just tried. What is your first r worst? Uh, the tarantula, just because it, it just tastes like dry dirt. It was just yeah. dry. I still have the taste in my mouth. Texture yeah. wise, it was just wrong. Everything. Yeah. I got something that'll rinse that taste out for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. shut up. Man. Ragnar, what was the worst one for you? That one, that candy, the fried chicken candy. Oh wow. It's okay. Fucking stale and um, dry tasting. He actually liked it. The tarantula didn't bother me actually. It just like I said, it's just like crunchiness. That's all it really had in it. It's just, but there was no chocolate taste. This had a bad taste to it. The tarantula didn't have a bad taste. It was just like easy. Just hoping Black Girl Magic can wash everything down. <laughs> so I'd say the fried chicken. What is yours? That what is the worst? on her magic. What is the worst thing for you? That fucking fried chicken. This is the worst <laughs> one? That was <laughs> horrid. See, there was two flavors. Yeah. It was this or hot dog flavor. Thank you. So which hot, one would like have been worse? Hot dog worse? water? Like, I don't... <laughs> yeah, no, there was hot... So the fried chicken is the... Uh... That's, that's some dog shit right there. I can't believe that that one is actually the winner of being the worst candy on here. That's crazy. I didn't. I don't think, know. I didn't. Think you that still was... have another one you're gonna try. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do it too. Good, then fucking do it. <sighs> I am going to do it. We've already I had. So this That's is what you keep fruit saying. This candies. is a Durn fruit chew. That is a great palate cleanser. It kind of is actually. That is an amazing fucking palate cleanser. What? You know what? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. You guys really don't want to try. That, that's not no. bad. Like you think that the 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 Star Wars drink was bad? Nope. Once you get past <laughs> the smell, it just it tastes like a sweet candy. Hey, don't get short arms. Take a swig. You're fine with that. Are you sure you guys don't want to try? You want to try that? No, thank you. Quite sure. 
You want to try one? You want to, Anna? You want glass or you're going to play? Anna, so you're a pro. There you go. Try that. What makes her a pro? Oh, give me that. It's dangerous. Because she actually does dangerous. it, and you guys won't do That's it. That's 50%? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's How much is this? Chase it under the table she? in five minutes. <laughs> 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 yeah, why are you shaking your head in disgust? <laughs> you want to try it? I'm good, thank you. This is going no. in the jungle juice. You don't want to try this because there's no, nothing wrong with it. No, I don't want to try that. Wow. All right. Wow. Oh. Why are you so You're, surprised? He's the only reason he's upset is because he spent his money on buying it, and nobody wants to. I told try you, it. I'll pop you a tenner to offset the cost, but I'm not trying it. <sighs> I can't reach from here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worry, Rod's not gonna help. Be helpful. All right, he's so just gonna fucking sit there. I'm just. I need to put more whipped cream on it. It melts. It's fine. No. I can taste no, the whipped cream. Yeah. Come on. You gotta wait. It's about cream. the experience. The experience. I'm still trying to figure out what the. the oh wait. Does he have to do it without hands? Yes. Because mm. you brought it up. Yeah. Oh, you gotta put it down. Now you gotta put it down and do it without hands. Yeah, see, because the computer's in the way. Who said that? That's she not, just did. That's not a rule. She just did. No. Everything's that's not votable. A rule. What do you guys what do you think, uh, guys? Isn't that isn't the way a drink is taken? I don't know. He just made you drink. eat a fucking tarantula. Yeah. I think I think the way the person you gotta move the drink, the over. drink and decides how it should be taken. Hey, no, no. no it right. taken. Move it over. It's not on camera. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> oh yeah, get in there. Okay. That's not the fucking drink. Take the drink. I am okay. not putting that in my mouth and holding it in my mouth. Nope. And you I said, want you to right make direct ground. eye contact with Stu the I'm whole time. I'm not doing that. Fuck you. <laughs> all right, everything's votable, right? Not that. Well, everything's votable. I. Uh, all right. Um, no, but not that. You're saying not that. So I can't hold that with my teeth. Yeah, I have a can. crown that keeps coming out. Fuck okay. that. Use your fucking lips. No, okay. If, if he's worried that trying to hold it there, like keeping that, he does have to use suction. If he's worried it's going to take a crown out, I will give him that pass. <sighs> I will do it without teeth. <laughs> we are probably doing better without teeth. Go out, lean back. Yeah, lean back. <laughs> His shoulders. Swallow. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> Stop blocking it with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit! <laughs> fucking swallow! <laughs> You're not swallowing. <laughs> well, don't fucking die. You are a lot more practiced than that. I, all right, God. I need a, oh. you need a drink. I need a trash can. I can't do it that way. I'm gonna I'm gonna puke and I'm gonna puke all over everything. Oh, that is horrible. Well, it's the an early fuck night, is folks. that? I'm he drinking it the normal way. I'm sorry. I did that. There, that's on fucking video, so there you go. Ragnar, you need to edit this video so you can isolate that video and put it as a clip. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking sucks. Yeah, I, I can't believe I'm not puking over everything else, but I'm puking over this. Jesus. So what is that? I don't know, but it's sweet as fuck, and it's driving me crazy. Well, you love sweet things, right? No, not like yeah, this. Yeah, so it's simple syrup. <laughs> That's all it is. That's good. Is that all it is? Okay, and watermelon. And watermelon. Oh, shit. Vodka <laughs> with Everclear. You do know. Talk with caramel whipped cream. Talk with caramel whipped cream. Steven. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, no. Just remember, you fucking puke, you do this again. Yeah. I can remake it. In a shot glass. No. no it's a Oh, all the nails have a fucking drain. Oh, you're pink. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad. <clears throat> oh my god, that you is need making to me remember sick. Remember that. Uh, <sighs> oh god, How's your belly. Not feeling good. Why? Wow, it's too fucking sweet, man. <laughs> Snow. Yeah. By the way, you how'd you? Me the same. <sighs> You'll probably Can like it. Okay. The same. Oh. <sighs> All over here sharing dick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were that close. <laughs> 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 
Is that no. is that like Eskimo you brothers? I, I guarantee you, you can do it better than I can. I'm sorry. Once watermelon hits the back of my throat, I get sick and I'm about to puke. So you can do it. You're a pro. Anything fine. else that hits the back of his throat, he's fine. Of, but right. <laughs> huh? I, I appreciate that. You can and do that. I will do it the same way. Oh, the, with the uh, mouth? Okay. Yes. Okay, yes, fine. That's you how you drink better. things is with your mouth. Yeah, you'll do it. But no, I'm talking about holding the <laughs> cock in your mouth. That doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, like this? <laughs> I'm just going to move it. It's all right. He's just got to double I'm fist it. It's it. fine. All right. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, that was a fun segment right there. So we're going to go ahead and get over to... Uh, what, you missing a tooth already? <laughs> you no, I, I... Pieces of the tarantula. This will help. This will help clean it out. That's a sentence you never thought you'd ever say, isn't it? <laughs> I got some tarantula no, you're in right. my teeth. I heard some in the back of mine. It gets in there. It does. It's in your gums. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> you have that much teeth, I'm sure it's harder for you to... I have broken teeth in the back with, that I think, pliers do. <laughs> All right. So I got, like, sharks and holes and stuff like that. So stuff gets in there. All right. Oh, God damn. Well, what would you think of that segment right there to add to your uh, little Seriously. flavor? <laughs> was that worth it? I can't believe I can't believe that the KFC, though, was the that, worst one. That ain't no fucking KFC. No. You better fix your shit. Archie McRe uh Archie Mc The Colonel would slap you for that. Make the uh, real. fried chicken candy individually wrapped. Yeah. Uh, world's finest fowl confection. Fowl? Yeah, as in bird. But -W -L. they got it right fowl. because it's fucking fowl. Fowl. Yep. Tasty and savory. Yeah. No, no. They had no. it right the first time with fowl. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I thought it would actually be uh, uh, tasty at one point, but I was not expecting that. My stomach is full. Pass the box over. There's not really much information on the box. There's no. There's not even any nutrition facts on it, which means you don't know what the fuck's in it. All right, Stu. Did I get the room? So I don't like put an eye out. All right. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. <laughs> oh God. Well, what happened here, sir? On the Lord's spell. That would be really hard to explain to your wife. Happy to Halloween, ER guys. Oh I hope you're we enjoying the video. What the fuck do you have in there? <laughs> What's the solid piece in there? That was probably the whipped cream made fucking gone yeah. in the hole. Oh. Got the hole. Better than I am. I'm sorry. I, it actually it tastes bad. It tastes really like taste sweet. Bad. Honestly, it sounds it like, like it would be delicious. Watermelon. Yeah, you didn't yeah. taste. I mean, it, it may have been a little bit, a little bit too thick. I, I, I personally probably made be a little bit less simple serve just because of the thickness. I think, I, I think too much went in. There. Yeah, but no, the watermelon and the simple syrup completely, completely hid the Everclear. Yeah. I'm, I'm not looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> nice. Right. So it, it tasted like a really. How's your stomach feeling? Uh, like a, there, was, fine. there was no Dessert corn in any of this, was there? No. No, we're no. 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 Well, cool. Awesome for the first segment. I hope you guys enjoy that little Halloween Stutish. treat. Um, we will not be back. Discussing after this. treats. Yeah, <laughs> of course. No, we are not. So we are on. Uh, <laughs> Are you Enough ever clear. It's going to get weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and take a break. We will be right back. Toodaloo. Hey there. It's the Barrel Age Chicks. I'm Sammy. I'm Snow. I'm Crystal, often called Moused. And I'm here, too. Yay! And then we also have Yen and Harley, who sadly are not with us, but that's okay. We're here to talk to you about our podcast. <laughs> Tune in because it's just, it's a lot of fun. And you get to hear the chick side of things. You get a BS about movies and drinking and life and momming. Lots and we're of good. laughing. Lots of laughing. I laugh. But it's great. Yes. We it have is. finished our first season. And we're starting our second season. Woo! Good Lord. 2024. Here we come. I know. Enjoy it. Join us on all of the platforms. Hear them talk and me listen. You talk. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. Pretty much anywhere you can hear voices on a phone. And yeah. So give us a follow. Check us out. Watch us give Ron aneurysms. It's the best part. <laughs> and thanks for listening. We will talk to you soon.
And we are back. So uh, that but was you can f- only see us with special glasses. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so uh, glasses. we did they were our. Cool, right? <laughs> they, they were they were nice safety glasses. I think yeah, our. But then they lit up as soon as they put them on. <clears throat> Oh, you can imagine you can't you, couldn't so, be, you wouldn't be able to see shit with that. <laughs> so, here's a question: Since you brought up the fucking glasses, I didn't. All right, no, actually, you. Brought the glasses. <laughs> so they're they're just they're literally just dual layer safety glasses. Uh-huh. All right, with a light. That's all they are. So, do you think they would actually fucking work? No. No, you don't think Not- so. Those? So, no. so the That's the glasses the thing actually has a pretty interesting In story. Reality. Um, Bill, the director, writer, director of the original 1960, um, th- it had just kind of come out with the advent of 3D, view, like 3D glasses and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. when he actually wrote his movie, the ghosts in his movie were only visible if the audience wore the provided. 3D glasses. Okay. Now you can see the 1960 version on 2B TV streaming for free right now, and it has all the ghosts included. Um, Do they have a version where it's the, uh, the red, red, uh, blue glasses where I, you can I, watch it? I don't know if it was a, a red, blue, or a yeah. polarized, or what. Because that was the during the, that was during the whole 3D era when right. they did a lot of movies in 3D. Um, I don't know if that's still available or not. It yeah. probably would be difficult to produce. And I mean, so I'm assuming the way they may have accomplished that would be red, blue uh, versus polarized. Uh, I don't think they necessarily had the tech to do polarized. Probably uh, not. But it was also know. black and white. So <clears throat> no, it was just know. a pa- it was just the paper red and uh, red and blue uh, glasses. Yeah. But though so I would feel that was probably done in a blue tint for the normal. Red tint for the the ghost. Probably this way, because I feel like the blue tint would be more welcoming for the for the normal person just to watch. Yeah, rather yeah. Than a Red tint, more enjoyable situation. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, he was really big into into gimmicks, and so he came up with this this idea where you'd only be able to see the ghosts if you were wearing those those glasses. Yeah, and it it. That's really cool. It worked pretty fucking well, actually. Um, and <coughs> so he obviously had this idea to incorporate it into the movie. Well, it all started when he was at an eye exam. And they're putting that big fucking thing where you flip through the lenses. And he goes, wouldn't it be cool if this, this could let you see ghosts? And so that's what spawned mm. this entire concept. He wrote the movie. Mm-hmm. Made those big fuck. I don't know if you saw the the 1960 version or not, but he had these big fucking glasses that were metal, and that's where they went ahead and made these safety glasses style. Um, but if you're asking about the operability of them, there are some uh, ideas in the paranormal research community that using a full spectrum viewing camera will allow you to actually see. Something. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be, be kind of fucked up if you got the eye doctor and you're doing a clicking to go, okay, what's better? <laughs> one, two, <laughs> right? You know, two of the patients are screaming. It's like, what? What's wrong? It's a ghost. Go no, back so one. so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they, they do have an idea of using what they call full spectrum or um, also changing UV spectrum down to visible light where you're actually able to see the UV spectrum. Um, and some of them have actually gotten some pretty good evidence with that. You're not really able to see a whole lot, but a, a dark shape, you know, of, of like just about any other paranormal evidence out there. It's up to interpretation. Nothing like a, I mean, they, I, I know they've seen full body apparitions, but nothing where as it's like very, very visible, like this film. Yeah. Not like this. No, no. No, no, they have gotten very clear images. Though. Yeah, um, but it, it's oftentimes just a, a dark shadow-looking mm-hmm. entity. If you're getting anything, and they're not really able to explain where that shadow is coming from, because it's like on yeah. its own, right. walking across a wall. It's like, oh, what the fuck? And you can't get it on the other cameras that are in the same area. Yeah. So 
It's neat. But I digress. Even with today's technology, not happening. Unless you want to lay credence to the, um, uh, what the fuck is it called? The, the red night vision lenses that they issued in Vietnam. Uh, red night vision yeah. glasses from Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. They, were, they weren't like night vision goggles. They were lenses that were a red tint. They degraded very quickly from oxidation. But supposedly, there are stories about these guys wearing these goggles that had that red lens tint on them. Yeah. And hanging out the side of a Huey and just fucking starting to shoot out in the sky. And they're like, what are you shooting out? The fucking demons! Jesus Christ! <laughs> and <laughs> there's nothing there. Shit like that. Really cool stories. Um, Too bad they were just doing tie sticks. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Probably. They, they don't include that part of the story. <laughs> Probably. Um, but like they were talking about there's dragons all around them and shit like that. And yeah. Seeing demons in the trees. They take the, gla the goggles off. They couldn't see them, so they're freaking out. Like, give them, get, give them back. Give them back. I don't know where they are. <laughs> yeah, um, that's including something extra. It, I would imagine, but, you know, who, who knows? I wasn't there. <laughs> Um, None of us were there. But yeah, no, I did like the, the ghost of Goatsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't he recently die? No, we talked about that last last time I was here. Oh, who's the original actor that was in the original? Which original actor? Like what the uh, popular oh, actor in Thirteen Ghosts? I don't know. Vincent Price. Okay. No, I'm thinking of House. I'm thinking of House on Haunted Hill. Hill. Really yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting completely mixed up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, it. anyway. So, really cool movie. Really cool gimmick with the uh, with the gadgets. I thought that was pretty neat. But what we're all here for are the ghosts. The one that you've been talking about. You've been talking about doing this movie. I was here for Shannon Elizabeth. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, she was okay. I, oh, I'm sorry. You didn't see her fucking tits in this one. She's got okay tits. I never found. I never really found Shannon Elizabeth all that pretty. She was okay. She's she's not like amazing. There's other. Fuck actors. you, an American Pie. She, she was. She hot doesn't as look fuck. manly There's enough. There's other actresses. For, he even said. It stop American going Pie by that Sigourney hot. Weaver so, fucking man. goat chin shit. Whatever the fuck you're talking about. I never said anything man, about a not goat chin man chin. That you're Why talking are about. you insulting your fucking? No, she he is because he's always so. Saying you're that. a she now. Excuse me. <laughs> Do not My pronouns are gender. he, him. Oh, fuck your goddamn <laughs> pronouns, you sack. He, he or they, or well, them. Those are accurate. We acknowledge the fact scientifically <laughs> those are proper fucking pronouns. They are. They All are. Right, so don't get mad at him for saying his pronouns are the proper fucking pronouns. No, I'm not <laughs> mad at I'm not mad at that. Uh, what it's stupid is the fact that People think they need to have pronouns. You, to, you have to have pronouns for language, you stupid piece of shit. <laughs> to, you didn't let me finish. To describe Themselves? what they are. That's an yes. adjective. Okay. My pronouns are, are he, are them. He, him. My pronouns are he, she. No. You're, you're fucking stupid. My pronouns All right. are bad. Motherfucker. <laughs> I See? am a motherfucker. <laughs> yes, I am. He, she, them, they, the. I mean, seriously, there's so many of them. <laughs> so what are your pronouns? Bam. What does that mean? F-A-F-O. <laughs> Jesus fucking shit. Okay, anyway, we're here for the ghosts. Yes. Play the clip, good sir. Ooh. We're diving in. Spooky sounds. Of earthbound spirits trapped inside. See these? They represent the black zodiac. They represent the ghost that Cyrus needed to catch. The firstborn son. The torso. Right? The bound woman. <laughs> the withered lover. Oh. Gee. I wish we could pause these instead of re replaying them because I want to know what's going on. The torn prince. The angry princess. That's yours, right? The pilgrimess. The great child and the dire mother. The hammer. 
And here, the sign of Hell's winter. The jackal. And the juggernaut. According to Basilius, the machine required the energy of these specific spirits in order to bring it to life. Once it engages, the spirits are released one by one. The house then draws them to its center. Each one adds its energy to the machine, powering it up. Powering it up for what? To open the ocularis infernum. The ocularis, what's that? It's Latin. Your butthole Ocularis. after eating Taco Bell. <laughs> the eye of hell? Very good. The eye of hell. I'm stuck in here with a glass house, a bunch of crazy white Go people. On. Go there's on. Rob Digger. In hell, there's an eye that sees everything. The past and the future, the heaven and earth, the blessed and the damned. Sour. If knowledge is power, <laughs> then the man who controls the ocularis would be the most powerful man on earth. Your uncle. <laughs> Great. Ah. Oh, so, how many ghosts have been set free? Eleven, and the house needs twelve. No. Damon said something about thirteen. That there are thirteen ghosts. The thirteenth ghost is a failsafe. In order to stop the process, the house needs a sacrifice of life instead of death. A willing human sacrifice. A sacrifice of the broken heart. The only ghost to be created out of an act of pure love. You're the thirteenth ghost. <clears throat> The thirteenth spirit stands before the eye at the final configuration. As the eye opens, the spirit uses the power of life to essentially short-circuit the system. Uses the power of life how? By leaping into the eye. And Arthur's supposed to take this leap? No fucking way, lady. That's suicide, Arthur. I, I'm not gonna let you do it. You need no, to fucking lies. Maggie is the one that stops it. Which is exactly what your Drake was about. Yep. Good job. So, Stu... What are you what are you cackling about over there? You were cackling the whole like in the beginning. <laughs> Was it the sounds of the ghosts? No. So you know how sometimes I'll hear a word or a couple of words, a phrase, and then my mind just, just immediately out. yes, takes yep. off and designs an entirely <laughs> new scene. All right. Um so I heard black zodiac and my mind went a very different direction than what the film did and then i started seeing like a messed up wayne's br uh, brothers um <sighs> telling of this story wayne's wayne's i said wayne's but is it wayne's i thought it was wayne's it's, it's, is it wayne's i thought it was wayne's. i thought it was it's not wayne's what is it you corrected him with bullshit punishment it's okay. called wayne's brothers wayne's brothers yes you okay. said wayne's Okay, I was Take off shot. by an end. But that's cool. But he was wrong too. He was you wrong. You corrected too. him with bullshit. He didn't get to say it the third time wrong. I have to do wrong. it 3 times. No. Not when you, you correct did. somebody with something wrong. That is a that is on the board. We have definitely in the past numerous times been oh, you corrected with incorrect information. Take a fucking shot. Um that has definitely happened Thank numerous you. times in the past. <clears throat> And I was even believing you enough. I'm like, thank you, sir. I thought it was this. <laughs> Ever clear. Ever clear. I thought that was Ever clear. Ever clear. I thought that was Well, it's right there. Any hewer. Yes. So I just started seeing <laughs> one of those shot a list of ghosts that were racial stereotypes That's in my fucking mind. Hilarious. It really? was fucked up. It was wrong. And I admit it. And I know this. But I also could see them doing that sort of like scary movie type <laughs> humor and I'm just listing this shit I'm like oh it'd be like fucking uh, blank man yes yeah. like the, Something like the that. 12 ghosts the, the black zodiac the colonel the show like KFC I swear uh, to God, dude. Uh, the EBT the fuck? um, holy fucking shit man <laughs> <laughs> the 40 hands. Uh, <laughs> just this fucked up, stupid, wrong uh, stereotypes and just <laughs> <laughs> showing shitty ass representations. Each one in my and it just kept going in my head. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I just couldn't stop. I, I apologize. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Drink up, buttercup. 
Oh. And I actually saw the chick from Scary Movie as the one telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Spicy. I don't want hair on your burrito. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Ah, man, that didn't taste good for some reason. Still got that tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still uh, dirty I'm still, spiders. Uh, I'm still tasting the tarantula. It's weird. All right, go because ahead. of the web, it's really sticking with you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> sticking with you. <laughs> I love it. Okay, anyway, so we got this family that shows up. You're, you're watching the movie. The first thing that happens, they fucking have a house fire. Wife dies. They are told, hey, by the way, you have this awesome house that you've got to get to live in. Yeah. Great Ooh. way of telling that story. Great way when they're showing... Yes. The story oh, when the camera, happiness. When the camera's and then pandering. And the slow yeah. pan yeah. around. It was really well horrible, done. Horrible, horrid situation. I'm like, oh. And the kid, our mom died in a fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, kid, that kid was fucked. <laughs> oh, he was, was trauma. Was, we'll do that to you. Was traumatized. <laughs> it was interesting. I, I, for a first time director. Help. Yeah. That boy oh, that gonna need some th- the yeah. fuck out of He's gonna need a lot of therapy after this shit though. The actor though that is in- have a great podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the father though, what are the what, salute. Yeah, what is he well known for monk? other than monk? monk. I, other than monk. I don't know. Uh wings? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, he was in wings. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. In okay. My mind, that was I a definitely great joke to Harley show. as we were watching this. The, this is the dark retelling. Of Adrian Monk. This is how is, he became. Is this how he became a germaphobe? Yeah, this is how he became OCD, <laughs> uh, a recluse. All this shit went down. He's like, fuck this outside world. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. And so, but I, I, I like the juxtaposition that you get from the original and the new one. Yeah. Is the new one, you get this horrible story you're slapped with. And then in the, the original, it's the guy works as a, as a professor. Um, he's teaching paleontology. And he's late on payments of all of the furniture in his house. <clears throat> and so he's at work and gets a call from his wife. And she's like, uh, they're they're taking everything. It's it's a good thing we own the fucking mattresses. Yeah. C- can you do something? He's go. I only have two dollars. I'm sorry. His kid has a birthday that night. He brings home a spooky stories book. The kid loves it. Goes to make a wish, can't wake make the wish because a gust of wind blows in and blows all the candles out on his cake anyway. Or instead, That's so sad. Yeah, but that was right before he fin- they finally got him uh, to or convinced him to say what his wish was out loud. He was, I wish I could live in a house that had furniture. And I'm like, oh fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but that's going to show you how different the world has become. So it was a tragedy not being able to pay your bills back then. Yeah. That's what a fucking tragedy was. Now we have to ratchet it up to equal that level of sadness. Your wife burns to death in a fire. (laughs) That's that's the same level of tragedy as it was back then. Fuck, (laughs) dude. And this creepy-ass bitch just shows up at the door right after the gust of wind blows out the candles. Dunk, dunk, dunk. He walks out the door. There's nobody there. And this bitch just kind of scoops out a shadow and hands him a telegram. And that's how we get started on sort of the same deal. And he's summoned to this attorney. You've inherited a house. Sorry, it's one of those old sprawling mansions. I know it's a, it's a drag, but it comes yeah. with furniture. So all that stuff. What I missed in this movie was we didn't get breakdown on backstories i feel like i would love to have gotten backstories oh this is this of course there's not going to have many backstories in this but that's because in the however in the extended it so if you have the dvd oh yeah they go they they go into a shit ton more yeah they have i know each each one of the characters and all of the fucking ghosts yeah the ghost files i remember it gives it like a almost like a five seven minute uh segment on each ghost Right. Tells about their history, why they become that, and all that stuff. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's on the 13 Ghosts DVD. Yeah. When it came out, um, it's also on the that one right there, right next but to you. In the movie would have been awesome. I don't need like too the much, whole. Though. I don't need the whole thing. Just. Clips. But even if they gave you 
She gave you kind of a glimpse of it in the beginning when she's reading the book. 60 seconds for each ghost. All right, that right That's there, you're minutes. adding another 12 minutes. 12 minutes to your runtime. Um, and then you got to think about pacing. And that's a 12 minute scene if they're if they're all just bullet pointing each fucking ghost as it goes down like ah uh, i don't remember how, how long this movie is and i don't think you needed a full 60 seconds 91 minutes it's an in order to half. effectively give 30 to 45 seconds all right but even then you're extending that scene where they're going through the black zodiac i'm assuming you don't that's have, the place you don't have to do that when <laughs> when would you fit in the backstory then for each one of these well, I Go. guess when the when the girls talk, <laughs> looking through the book, she would kind of give like a I don't know. I think that'd be too you much could, for her to you be could telling start them. on it there at the book, and you could expand on it yeah, as but, they're going through the house and encountering them. Yeah, but I think they were pressed for time, especially with I'm the ghost good. being free in the house. So I, that's probably not yeah. A good and time I think the it. fact that this movie really did a a, a a main focus of hard cuts, hard cuts, hard cuts. Yes, they did. Um, in order to try to keep you <coughs> jump your 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 pulse up, you know, yeah. not knowing where the next thing is going to be. So like that, they needed to cut it down as much as they possibly could in order to achieve the effect that they were going for. So, but based on that, because I feel like if you were to have been given that during the story, yeah, you would have a little bit more <clears throat> investment in these in these characters. Do so you think it would have been better off in the movie? Could be set up as a sequel. I yeah, would know, I love yeah. an American they, horror they story actually, so yeah. style 13 ghosts. They actually were talking about doing that they as a series. I think they are still talking as about th it. For 13 ghosts? Yeah, so, yeah, so you, they actually go into each individual ghost and their story. As a, like basically an episode? Yeah, so yeah, it's going to be a 13 ghost. episode series. <laughs> um, the, the people I've, had the blessing from Dark Castle. Yep. But Dark Castle only owns 50% of the rights. Yeah. Sony owns the other 50%. Um, it was Warner so, Brothers. Huh? No, I believe it was. I'm pretty sure it's Sony. This is Warner Brothers. Okay. I'm pretty sure Sony owns the other percent of the uh, the other 50%. Columbia Pictures, that's Columbia Pictures is uh, Sony, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Because right, it's just Columbia Pictures and Warner Brothers. So that's yeah. that's the uh, production company. So Dark, but it's you said Columbia Pictures and uh, Warner Brothers. It was Dark Castle. That which I'm pretty sure falls underneath, uh, fell underneath One the Warner Brother envelope. Yeah. They may have been spun off and sold or whatever since all the. The mm -hmm. latest article was from April of tw of last year. No, I found stuff in August. I found stuff referencing a big big push in August of last year. That would oh, be oh sorry cool no yeah it, was, it is August my okay. bad. Okay, is this something that'd be months. like on Shutter? Uh, they were they were hoping for something like either Netflix or Shutter. Like they, they had a whole idea. That'd be perfect of it. for Shutter. They're like there'd be a thirteen episode season, uh, each episode focusing on <clears throat> each ghost. You know, each ghost and with the the buffers of in between. You know, around the stories At of the, the ghosts. At the time well, of this article two. in August of twenty twenty three, um, upcoming thirteen ghost television series, which is reportedly in development. Yeah, it's in development, but they still were. They, uh, if you read a few different other articles, it'll say it was still waiting on the sign off <laughs> from Sony. Right. And I haven't seen, I, I did research on this um, just the other night because uh, I was curious if any headway had been made. Uh, there hasn't been any real news about it since August. There's been a few other newer stories yeah. on sites and like that, but they all reference data from august yeah i i um, would love it to be produced yeah much it like would, american well, it would be so would it be shit. like a, would yeah. it be like a prequel where we're seeing we're watching cyrus catch each ghost oh, that would be so fantastic what it would be, it'd be, okay we're going to go well, that may, that would be cool if they did in the beginning yeah. it'd be a remake the same like way uh remember netflix had the uh the um uh, haunting at Hill House right. series, yeah. which was just a redo. Oh my god, that was of, so good. Yeah, but that, all that was was a redo yeah. of uh, House on Hill. Um, yeah. You know, it's like that's all it was. They they were hoping for something I like did, that. I did not sign up for that series. fucking ending, though. Jesus Christ! I, <laughs> I came here to get scared. I did not come here to cry. Fuck off. Yes. <laughs> but that's what they were aiming for. Like we we want to do something like that. You know, a long form storytelling of this because it's. There is some really cool, 
you know, stuff that you could be throwing. Oh in, my god, though, yeah. That the hammer. Better. Yeah. The uh-huh. hammer story. No, the hammer story was his story's cool. The yeah. the what was it? The the fat kid, the fat big the baby. The great child and the dire the, mother. The dire mother. That was an interesting story. Well, there there were yes. two different stories. All their stories were kind of it, fucked. It was they a all ri- are. Torso is kind of like a mafia. Torso kind of reminds me of like something like a mafia story. No, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. He made a bet with the wrong guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, the the great child and the dire mother actually did not have the story of him massacring the carnival of it originally. For our viewers who may or may not not know these stories, summary is the great child and dire mother. The story goes, <clears throat> um, dire mother, all of three feet tall. She grew up always getting picked on. Left that life because her mother would like dress her up as a doll every once in a while like just completely demunitizing her um left to work at a carnival she hated that shit too she was out cleaning the stalls of the horses or something like that at one night got raped by one of the tall man the tall man uh another performer and had this child she doted on him and spoiled him to the point where he never really developmentally progressed he became fucking gigantic, just eh, about one or two year old year old um, Brain. Uh, cognition, if you will. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and as a as a prank on the great child Harold, um, they kidnapped his mother, put her in a sack, and hid her somewhere in the in the um, in the circus. When by the time Harold actually found her, she had suffocated to death in yeah. that sack. So he went a, on a rampage with a wood chopping axe and massacred everybody that was that was part of it, and then everybody that wasn't put their body parts on display for paying customers, and then was found out and by the the guy who ran the circus and he launched an angry mob after him. Yeah, and the idea was his body was so destroyed beyond any comprehension of. I or you, according to the director, um, there was no way for them to display that. So maybe this was like him not being fucked up and mutilated in his. Um, yeah, that, what, the, what they showed was him in like a diaper around. Right. Yes. You know, he had a little tuft of hair and right. yeah, yeah. Like it looks like he had puke coming from his mouth too. He had like yeah. green. Well, the original suit. story is that. Kind of the same thing. She doted on him. He just was development developmentally yeah. disabled. Yeah. Um, he had but the, he, the mental capacity he vomited of- and choked on his own vomit, dying, and fell over and fell onto his mother, suffocating her to death. Oh, that was, was the, the original, original story. story. I didn't know that. Okay. I thought, because the other story I knew was the what the carnival did to the mom, right. and then him They changed it the because they were like, oh, it's not powerful enough. Yeah. But... So he he was the only one that had two different kind of backstories. None of the other ones had different stories. No, no, no. They they and the whole idea was he. I liked I liked the little boy. <laughs> His fucking story. That was Fuck fucked him. up. He, Fuck he, he, he was the Dude. one they were actually Fuck scared him. of because whenever he came on board, he was like. Don't don't hide. Just be just walk slow. Walk slow. And he would because he just had an arrow in his head and he just had a mean look on his face, but. Yeah, I don't know. he's a fucking pissed off little shit. Yeah, I'd yeah. be pissed Who off too. Who got an arrow shoved but through the back of his kinda, fucking head? From the way they made it sound, he kind of fucking deserved it. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck that spoiled little fuck. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But everybody playing fucking goddamn cowboys and Indians. To, to me, it seemed like friend. the. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Dueling. He got, got to me, it out. seemed like he was a, a, like, a, a yank. Rod, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to me, it, it seemed like he was a yank from that character off of uh, Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mike TV. Yeah. Exactly. Mike I know TV. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. but Mike TV so did he, not seem he, like nearly as much of a douchebag as they tried to make. Uh, no, that was guy. the other one. That but was his the, name uh, was Billy Michaels in reference to Billy the Kid and Mike TV. Oh, interesting. Really? Where did you find that information? Uh, Good I, I did job. all kinds of research. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Google. Um, wow. What? What? Why is the, the jackal Googles. so popular? Oh, uh, because why is oh, who? The, jackal, the, the jackal, jackal is, is so, like everybody's favorite. Oh, jackal. Yeah. So yeah. the jackal reason for that is twofold. One, he's the most gruesome. He's called. The Charlie Manson, yeah. the Charles Manson of the ghost world. But he... Which is that, a bad name. Yeah, that... Yeah. Anna, yeah. 
that encounter is what sets the fucking that's what sets the hook. Yeah, that sets the tone. Um that it goes from your intro to boom, you're in the thick of it. Mm-hmm. Um but his backstory is fucked. Yeah. Um he was based off of Jack the Ripper from the sixteen hundreds. Um his character idea. But the whole thing was instead of just being a well, I mean he was a piece of shit, but instead of just being a piece of shit, he was a rapist and a murderer. Had an insatiable lust and bloodlust for women, but Son he of a realized it was wrong. Son of a prostitute. Do what? Son of a prostitute who then took out his. He was a son of a prostitute. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then he took out his anger and his viciousness on, on prostitutes. Yeah. Well, not and not just prostitutes, just random strays. But from also what. Uh, the main story was it was the that the prostitutes were the focus. Right, they were. Yeah. Um, but he realized it was something wrong he was doing, yep. so he locked himself away, or he committed himself to an asylum. He was, you know, trying to better himself, had a bit of a tift, put him in a straight jacket, and every time he act, acted out, they tightened it. One day he snapped a little bit and bit one of the nurses, so they put a fucking cage on his head. Yep. And they just kept abusing him and treating him like shit, and they locked him away in solitary, basically. Well, they, so they locked him the way the story that I read. They locked him away in solitary before the cage comes on, before yeah. the biting came yeah. on. Yeah, um, right. And he, they kept him away from people for so long. He developed, but the only interactions he was having during that bad. period of time were, were bad. bad. So he fucking yeah. started hating any any humans and being afraid of, yep. of them, afraid at yeah. the same time. That that's. So they, they bad is going to happen. You see them exactly. Like, they so then he, wild he bit dog. somebody. Then they put the fucking cage on his yep. head. Yep. Months went by, and then the, the asylum caught fire, and they. Left I guess they left them there. Well, no, he chose. He, to chose, stay. he chose to, to stay. stay. He would rather burn alive than yeah, be exposed I mean, yeah, to I mean, people like ever again. I'm not saying like, yeah. oh, they they left them like it's like a sympathetic. Oh yeah, thing. Okay. You know, it's like no. I see what you they mean. They left him. I still can't understand why he's but also, the most you know, popular as, though. As a, a worker in that type of institute, just because you want to stay and burn, I'm not supposed to just leave you to stay and burn. I'm supposed to drag your ass. Yeah. Down. Even I'm grabbing the back of that fucking cage and dragging. Okay. Your fucking ass. Yeah. Think about this. It's but the 1600s. Back, but back then, yeah. though, totally different fucking yeah. time yeah. frame. Like nowadays, if something were something like that were to happen, you know. And you say you want to fucking stay. Well, I mean, no. as All recent right. well, as fine, this... dude. Well, but I don't give a shit what you want. I need to drag your ass out. Yeah, as you recent know. as the '60s, they were considered human trash if you were in there. Yes, like, yeah. So, oh sh- bullshit. Yeah. Well, the... even after that. Well, I said as recent as. But, oh, even after but, the fucking '60s, there were still to, some. The 80s. But why? There were still some hospitals that were. Treating him like fucking dog shit. Oh, yeah. But why was he... Why do you think everybody thinks he's like the... I mean, why is he the best? He why the is most, he the most centered one? He got the one? most visual screen time. Out of all the ghosts? It was a great visual effect yeah. for him. It, yeah. He so got, he he got the, the close-up that stuck. Yeah. yeah. All the others were flashes. Him tearing up... With uh, the exception of... Uh, Shane Elizabeth. But I'm talking about him when he tore up. Tony Shalhoub. Yeah. So yeah. He, fucking he was wild. he was the most effective, if, if you will, of the murderous ghosts. Yeah. Um, Does not mean the ones that, but the juggernaut the ones seemed was, like he was the more most powerful out of all. He the absolutely ghosts. was. Yeah. The um, ones with the most screen time would be um, the jackal, and then the hammer. The, yep. The hammer. Um, and then the juggernaut. But the hammer was um, more the the quick flashes. The no, he was, but no, that also, part when Ma- but at the end with Matthew Lillard, yeah, when both of them and, like kind of teamed up there. against Matthew Lillard when they both started killing yeah. his ass, and but then while it was more back. violent, it was less actiony. Yeah, no, it was, but I'm just saying screen time. Right. Even Juggernaut, because Juggernaut also had a lot of screen time well, at the beginning said, of the movie. He was the very the first Jackal ghost, and the Juggernaut were the um. The winter of the the Black Zodiac? What, what, no, the Jackal was Hell's Winter. Hell's Winter. Yeah, but, but they said the Jackal and, and Hell's Winter, the Jackal and the Juggernaut. So I felt like they were always... I do not recall that like, term yeah, being applied to yeah, yeah. together. Uh, yeah, with it, and Hell's Winter, the Jackal, 
and the juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> um, How'd that go? That, uh, that's what they, if you if you when they're going through the stuff the flashes and they were all angry and bouncing yeah. around and yeah. like that, that's what it sounded like i feel bad for these guys um, they I, took a picture and then they showed like them i thought the torn prince got yeah. a lot of screen yeah. time yeah. also the, the not really version. you <laughs> see him like twice <laughs> the one with the bat yeah you see him like twice oh I, I felt like i saw him a lot more than that the torn prince was Oops. actually with the bat no. oh you he was the one that you first saw when the, the lawyer, the lawyer down. was heading downstairs, yeah. and he was just kind of just standing, waiting, there. waiting for shit to pop yeah. off. Yeah. Um, so, see, yeah. the lawyer would have been fine. Honestly, I think the lawyer would have been perfectly fine when he did saw. You, the, did you watch the, this with subtitles? What? No. No. Okay. No. I watch everything with subtitles. I have a I have a, a audio processing disorder, so it helps. Um, but uh, when he gets cut in half, and the angry princess is standing there. Yeah, she whispers, "I'm sorry." She do- yeah, I heard, yeah, I saw that too. Oh, what really? does that yeah. mean? She was a suicide, but she's sorry because she could never meet the beauty standard that she, uh, she yeah. thought she could never meet the beauty standard. So her her story is actually f- fucking sad. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They make yeah. her out to be like a killer, but she's a suicide. Yeah, she, she yeah she did all the cuts to herself yep. and, and her death. Mm-hmm. I, I knew that, but she that she didn't kill night. anybody else. No. I know, but it, in the mo- in the I don't know. It's just so, she, she so was the reason, going to the reason kill you Kathy. see her. Yeah, the reason you see her going to kill the lawyer mm-hmm. was because. Oh, shit. He, yeah, he was talking shit to her in when she was in the box. Yeah, he said right. nice tits or nice something tits. like that. Nice yeah. tits, right? But so, to her, any sort of compliment is a is degrading. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so her, she, she's that not, that not worthy yeah. in her own her, mind. She's not her worthy thing, of yeah. anything. Her yeah. thing was she grew up being you know, told she was beautiful and the most gorgeous thing. But she did not feel like the she actress was. Is herself. She, she's that's actually the, that's, really pretty. Yeah, that's yeah. the only movie she's ever been in. I'm not surprised. She, she stopped after that. Is she a model? Nope. She, I, I don't. I don't know. She's relegated herself to being a, a stay at home mom. Oh, okay. She did a good job. Oh for man. Did. I just trying to think. Can, <laughs> is that was the only movie acting she's ever done. It's the only <laughs> being her kid, and he just happened to come across not. You not know could not know that she was an actress or whatever that. And you also see your fucking naked ass mom <laughs> fucking cut up. Oh, with her fucking tits sliced. Her nipples fucking sliced in yeah. half. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that'd be so fucked up. Right? Then you come home from like the sleepover and Mom! Mom! What the fuck, Mom? <laughs> and see all the kids going to say, Oh, hey, let's go watch 13 Ghosts. Hey, that's my mother on there. What, what the fuck? <laughs> Luckily, she was the one that took the most uh, make them prosthetics. Yeah, so you did. wouldn't even know. So if you looked at what no, she shit, looked what, like six, in the movie, six and then hours on her, her? You, something like that. It yeah. does not look like her. But yeah, um, no, the juggernaut she, no, it doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. I still think if you were the child, you'd recognize your mom. Yeah, I feel yeah. bad for those actors because they they spent not now because it like, it's what twenty something years later. I still think you'd recognize. You know, your mom. Horace Breaker Mahoney oh, played the juggernaut. Yeah, maybe who knows? He would wake up and get there at four a.m. And not leave set till 11 p.m. Yeah. On the regular. Because it took four, four and a half hours to actually apply his makeup and about two hours to For the take juggernaut? it off. Yeah. Yeah. And Who do you think had the worst makeup altogether? Like the, not worst makeup, but like the, the, the hardest. worst experience? Ma- yeah. The Probably hard- the angry princess. I figured that. Oh, yeah, because it's full hammer. body. The hammer. It only took about. <sighs> the, it started out being about a four-hour process for him. They got it down to two hours. Okay. Really? Yeah. With all the fucking uh, nails all yeah, throughout his yeah. body? They just got really good at it. Um, but she, her makeup took almost six well, hours. Well, yeah, because she has her whole body that they Yeah, it do. was everything. Yeah. And so it, but also the Juggernaut did too. Yeah. All of those characters had full body everything. Yeah, what, the actress name that played... Uh, the Juggernaut, even though he's wearing clothes and you don't see half of it, he has a full body suit. I'm sure. Uh, legs... Chest, torso, neck, face, head, everything. Dana Newman is the one who played the, the angry princess. princess. Yeah. yeah. Um, but even though you never see him without uh, without clothes of any kind, it's a full full body piece, and they did makeup and effects on all of it because he was shot to death by a bunch of fucking SWAT team members. Yeah. 
um, after a sting operation because he was a serial killer. Um, Are you talking about the juggernaut? Yeah. Yeah. And so, you could see all the bullet holes all right, over. Right. So without a oh, shirt. Yeah, nine bodies, man. <laughs> yeah. Count 40. There's over 40 victims here. That was um, nine when he was alive. In the junkyard. <laughs> yeah. Then he added a few. <laughs> what, what, what do you what do you think is the favorite makeup job though altogether? Who do you think had the best makeup? Uh, Cyrus is the best scary. makeup? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, man. It, it all of them were pretty fucking good. I know, but that's that's the thing about this movie you know? is that this movie is covered. I mean, this movie is really really standout makeup. Makeup. I I think the hammer probably had the best makeup. The hammer, okay. I think, did honestly. Yeah. The hammer also, I feel, had the most tragic. He had the best most story. Definitely. Yeah. So for our viewers. Um, the hammer has an awesome backstory, and I say awesome in a very bad way. Well, it's all it's it's shitty. It's because shitty. he is actually innocent. Yeah. yeah. So he was he was a blacksmith, and um, he was in his little small town one day accused of theft, which never happened. By but by I don't know a white guy. Well, yeah. It's, yeah, sorry. No, 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 I mean it's actually unfortunately it's actually relevant. Yeah, yeah. no, you're right. He was, he was accused of theft by some white dude in the uh, in the town, and you know he claimed to be in, to be innocent, which he was, but they didn't like that. White guy and a bunch of his friends came up to his house and beat his wife and two children to death, and then threatened that he needed to be banned or he needed to leave town or the same fate would befall him yeah to which point instead of leaving he decided to uh do what any i would say sane father would do and um grab take his, his sledgehammer <laughs> and cave in everyone who participated um within one night's work good good on him if you're going to mm -hmm. be anything you should be efficient yeah yeah um <laughs> And then the rest of the townsfolk gathered together and proceeded to get him the next night. On the sheriff's direction. Yeah. Oh, it was the sheriff's direction? Yeah. Yep. Okay. They took him. They tied him to a tree and, and started railroad driving railroad him. spikes and nails and everything through his body, cut off his left hand, and broke his, his sledgehammer, shoving what was left of the neck of it of his stump and taping it there until he finally succumbed to his wounds which is why now he's a, a fucking monster mm -hmm. which I, I think he probably has one of the most compelling stories absolutely it's interesting. Yeah. I think so yeah, yeah. Um, aside from uh, um, the widow her death yeah um, which that her death the sucked the widow yeah, the, her, I'm sorry. The, the withered bound lover. woman, the withered lover. Yeah, okay. the one that was the, uh, widow. the one that was uh, number hung, four. Basically, like where she hung herself. No, that's that's another dumb. Bitch. That's the bound. Uh, the bound. Yeah, she's not a widow. Yeah. You have so widow you have the bound the woman. Widow, the widow word means that they survive. Well, the no, the withered lover. Yeah, I don't have. I don't know what to refer. But they were they were sort of more yeah, harmless. Yeah. So the thing is, the or ghosts or that were more there. powerful, or that were, yeah, widow, uh, which is weird about this movie, a ghosted widow. What, a widow ghost? What's weird about Most this? Most people call them dead folk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the weird thing about this movie is when it comes to the ghosts, they make the ghosts dangerous. You yeah. know, most ghost movies, ghosts are not dangerous. They scare you and everything else. These. Most movies, if they're a ghost movie, yeah. the ghost is dangerous in some way. But not like this. Not like this. That's no. what I'm saying. This is a different way of making these ghosts like yeah. to the point where they're like un unseeable uh, monsters that will just kill you while you're you can't see them. Yeah, I yeah. mean, arguably the most you're going to get from it. Should you believe in the paranormal? I do. Um, the most you're going to get from a paranormal entity is shoved, scratched. Uh, you might get tripped by them. I have seen a big cinder block thrown at somebody, though. That was... Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's probably the, the most energetic thing I've seen. Yeah. It's a lot of energy, though. Yeah. That's See, a, that's a lot. I'm coming back, and I'm haunting. Now, what I've seen with my own, own eyes, the most powerful was a stack of... It was probably three or four stacks of tile about 
six inches, eight inches tall of tiles thrown into an aisle. Hmm. See, the most I've seen was an unenthusiastic hand yeah. job. That's a shame. It was. It was. Put your back into it. It was like, <laughs> eh. <laughs> Very limp wristed. Um, <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> if I come back and I'm going to haunt somebody, you just smack I am ghost. definitely going to do the, the, the bed sheet. With the holes, I'm definitely gonna pull it off. And there's nothing there, like no, yeah. pull it off, and it's fucking. That's like I'm looking like the hammer. All right, <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking something hideous underneath. I don't know why. Ha ha, motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, no. I can just imagine you being naked under there and just yeah. scaring him from that. Yeah, I'll just be like fully jerking it. <laughs> oh God! So as soon as she comes off, ghost bleach. <laughs> so you just got slimed, Ragnar. Ghost, <laughs> ghost splooge. Jesus Christ! What do you think <laughs> happened with Slimer <laughs> when he <laughs> fucking? Slimed everybody. That's true. He slimed me. He bukkake. <laughs> no, we actually did have a, my ex wife and I, we actually did have a problem where the apartment complex we were living in was severely haunted and it kept groping her. On so she was always. Foreplay already done. <laughs> Check. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was it was kind of fucked up. We actually did have to resort to a, a legitimate salt line around the bed, really, and it did help. Well, it good. it did actually help. Yeah. It, it stopped for a long time, and then it started Until you up. A, stepped on it. I, I I'm guessing that's what it was. Still, somebody it was ran on vacuum by accident. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, you've always, fuck. You've always been like a huge ghost hunter. I remember. Oh, yeah. really. I found a ghost actually, like tequila. Yeah. That's yeah. the one thing right. I remember it's because I met right. you. Yeah. <laughs> We first met. Yeah, when we first met, we sat here like three, four hours. They were just giant margaritas, all they were. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, When we first met, we sat sat here talking until like almost one in the morning. One in the morning about three hours just talking about ghosts. I remember it was you and Crystal. Yep. Yep. All right. So, (laughs) got to stop you for a second. Go ahead. Monitoring Twitch. So I don't know who Big Spicy Chef is, but oh, Big Spicy Chef. First Big Spicy Chef said. F you, Chase. <laughs> Fuck you, Chase. <laughs> now I said, Ghost Splooge is a bad guar cover band. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's or awesome. Is it a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. fantastic. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Rod, it's good to have you on. Okay, so thank you, Big Spicy Chef, for interacting. Big Spicy Chef. At least that's who I'm guessing you are by the by the screen job. Screen name. Big Spicy Chef. Screen screen job. job? He he did say this is Rod. I like a rim job, but through a screen. It's virtual. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not gay. We're actually. (laughs) No homo. Give me the dick. Thank you. Here we go. (laughs) Give me the dick. Oh fuck you. (laughs) See, people nowadays don't understand that. Oh yeah. You got to preface. No homo. Yeah. Then everything's very good. Oh, sorry. Yep. No, the new one's pause. That's the new thing. I guess. No, okay. no homo. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, you're Gen Alpha bullshit. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you is, are. Is that what we're up to now, Gen Alpha? I think so. Is that is that all the the young I folk? I feel bad because that means the next are betas. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know with, with the progression of masculinity that tracks. Uh, yeah. Well, that is gonna go to yeah. Gen Cuck. Oh, then we're dead because there's no more fucking I'll be dead. dead babies. I'll be dead. Right. So fuck Holy it. fucking shit. There's no more babies. I'm just gonna be a ghost. I'm gonna haunt the fuck out of everybody. Do it. Do yeah, it. Oh yeah. It's Imme- gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. Immediately start fucking with the alphabet magnets. Mm-hmm. I can. <laughs> you. I can see you being a very fucked up ghost. Screwed. I am fuck with so many people. I, I can see you doing. And I. Am chosen to somehow stay around and fuck people. I, I, I will I say, you, I see uh, you die. If I see, see you, I'm gonna be pissed that I'm still around. No, I thought because I'm gonna fuck with everybody. No, no, well, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I'll be pissed that I'm still around. So, me being pissed is gonna equate to every single body getting fucked with. And then you know what? I'm gonna find ghost friends, and then we're all gonna meet up together. <laughs> yes. And ghost buddies. You know what? We're gonna be ghost buddies, the and BAF we're gonna start ghost fucking club. with everybody yeah. else, and it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, the yeah. only thing I would, I probably wouldn't fuck with too much were wherever my home base is. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd fuck with them enough till they learn my what type of 
TV that I like to watch. <laughs> <laughs> They leave the right like right movies on. He doesn't start throwing shit when we have I'm just gonna, on. Just right on the screen. I still <laughs> love you guys. Thank like you. you, Stu. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're, if you go before me, I'm worried because I feel like I'm oh, never going to sleep. Oh, if I go sleep. before you, your asshole is going to be bleeding constantly. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Like, Fuck! I don't think, you will not be safe. <laughs> all right. I'm going to be fucked by a ghost and it's yeah. Stu. Yeah. Big Stu. Yeah. Fuck all you. For those, all for hey, I'll be leaning yeah. over and whispering ghostly in your ear. You're <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sammy's gonna fucking freak the fuck out. What's this gooey shit on my back? <laughs> yeah. You can't get pregnant. <laughs> can't, can't, don't, don't, well, apparently nowadays men can get pregnant. They Anymore. Can get, they yeah. can get butt pregnant. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Oh, that was a fucking killer. <laughs> no, I was, just, I was just thinking the miscarriages. No, are I agree with you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I just thought. Oh, that. poor poo babies. I, and I'm the one that took that too far, oh. I feel like. You took it too far? <laughs> Did you? Whoa. Did you? Whoa. No. <laughs> no? No. Big gummy bear ghosts. There's no oh. good answer to that. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So, what is your favorite of the ghosts? Hammer, Juggernaut. Yeah, fucking Juggernaut, man. I, ever since you saw him in the fucking beginning, when you just see that guy get like uh, folded in half right between the trunk of the car, that was the oh, yes. most badass yeah. kill. That, yeah. And you just see blood splurting everywhere and everything. No, the fucking Juggernaut, and just seeing the quick flashes of him and him taking Matthew Lillard and just like bending him. Between yeah. the corner, yeah. the guy liked to fold people. I wonder if he was Brazilian really jiu jitsu. Did. He really did. Yeah, yeah. yeah he no, no. I don't think so. Juggernaut's mine. So what's your what's uh? Still, uh, I was just I would say the jackal. Jackal, yeah. Yeah, the jackal was fun. It's a jackal, jackal. He's jackal. the popular one. I, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 he's fine, but I don't know. He, I, I kind of want to dre- uh, do that as my costume this year. Do it. Yeah, that's an easy costume. You <laughs> I got get yourself a cardboard uh, with some, and uh, make yourself a little box. And right? that's like, a simple costume, really, when you think about it. Might have to do that. You got to put yourself a little thing or a uh, 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 shiny or um. You got the hair for it. You got the hair for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's yours? Great baby. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. See, I was gonna <laughs> say that. You? As splitting a image joke? of you. That's fucked up, dude. No, he's going by a splitting image of him. That's why. No, I mean. You were like, it just it. looks like something that you, you that you shouldn't would. be afraid of, but every part of you just like, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but realistically, like, oh, oh, he just, you know, special. Honestly, he's the, no, he, the he was... disabled. Oh, we should give him love and attention. No, no, <laughs> no. I don't like that. That motherfucker's got that your, your snake brain is a screaming at you. <laughs> Run away, <laughs> danger. He look, right. he, the thing is, he looks yeah. pissed off. Yeah. What yeah. You mean? Yeah. Somebody no, no, stole it, it, his mom. Good, his look. I know that, but his look. Put her in a bag and just carry her away. Yeah. That's uh, that's what you relate to. Like a little oompa loompa. I just like that's the idea. Up. Of, 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 <laughs> put him in a sack, <laughs> threw him over the yeah. shoulder. Just trying to try it off. Oompa. Ha, fatty, I got your mom. How mad would you fucking be? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder he chopped up everyone in a yeah. fucking circus. Yeah. And what was yours, Ragnar? The hammer. Oh, you're going for the hammer? Yeah. Hammer time. Originally, mine was the angry princess because oh, she's hot. fucking hot. I thought that was yeah. seriously still yours. Well, going into the backstory that I'd never heard before, it's absolutely the hammer. That dude's a fucking badass. Great story. I am a fan of anyone who has caved mm-hmm, in yeah. the skulls of motherfuckers who have fucked with their family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, that's a good one. Right there with you. Um, that's why angry baby. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I feel that. I feel that. Um, Is that gonna be your Halloween costume? Probably. That could. That could. If we all. You know what? If we all witness the thirteen have ghosts. Said, I hope that the weather. All right. Warm. So you need to get. You need a, a big bib, <laughs> and then that. have Ragnar make like resin puke on the bib. And I just wear you know real puke. I'm authentic. <laughs> You could do that though. <laughs> Are you gonna grow a little stuff of hair on the top? <laughs> I have already proven I will grow hair uh, for costumes. Somebody save us. For fuck's sake. I am a little worried about your costume here. <laughs> 
You know, you, but you pulled off good. Co- your Chuck, uh, your your so old I've man shown, Chucky I was the best. I've shown the intro to our little podcast to like a few people now because I have access. I'm on the computer all the time at work, and it's like, oh here, here oh yeah, no, I'm on podcast. Check this out, and they look at you and they're like, is this dude really like? He should fix his beard <laughs> <laughs> on, on the intro. <laughs> See, it worked, right? Dedication. You look <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> Oh man! And they, and they just knew I'm just a sweetheart. I am. I, you're a big old tit. Are you though? I am. <laughs> you can dress yourself like the hammer. Go blackface. <laughs> totally. I mean, Robert yep. Downey Jr. did it, so you could do it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, no. Yep. RDJ, I blame you for me being me going blackface. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I got you. I got you. See, Kevin Hart, his screen name is the Black Hammer. You can go as the White Hammer. Jesus no, that was in ma- that was Hebrew Major hammer. League. That's the one. <laughs> the Hebrew Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you get the little fucking curls. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Go so, as, you know, James Earl Jones. You know, in honor. I don't have his voice. You can go ahead and go. Okay. You go ahead and think that. Fuck you. Fuck you. There you go. Everybody just paint themselves black. No. Fuck. Why not? No. All right. So if I paint myself black, and then I so no, your penis will not match. No. I know it's it's Asian. I have the powers. And I do. It's not how it works. Damn it! I do the Guillermo del Toro. You know, the, eyes, the what? The Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo eyes. del Toro. You, you, yeah. Holy fucking shit. Both of you. Both of you. Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. Right there. I, I don't roll right my there. R's. I was close. But Guillermo I, del Toro. Oh, right you just rolled there. your R. I didn't feel like I rolled the R there. But Whoa. okay. That was twice. Guillermo. I'm going to have a fucking I'm stroke. Like Jesus. I, I, oh. I'm saying it. You fucked it up. Yeah. I'm. You fucked up my fucking shit with that one. <laughs> I've been saying it. Me too. At white. All right. Not wrong. White. I've what? been saying it white. Okay. I'm done with what? you. Yeah. <laughs> You're what? Guillermo del Toro is not wrong. Right? Guillermo. It is what? Yep. It's Guillermo del Toro. Uh, all right, Guillermo. So that's three. Guillermo del Toro. If you don't roll your R's, because God damn it, See, there is no rolling three. R's in the English alphabet. That's See, I'm right? really tempted that's to call three. this on you, there but I also no know. There is no rolling R's in the English alphabet. Call I it. also know he has a speech impediment. I do. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? You're gonna put that, <laughs> you want to go? I protected your wife over this too. Run. <laughs> Run. And all she did was you yell at me. You want to call it? Call it. Go I'm ahead. Not, you you only mad at him for not calling it. Have the balls to call it. I'm not calling it. Nobody's going to go for have it. Have the fucking balls to call it. Fine. You get mad at him for not calling him. All right? Then have the balls to call right, yourself. fine. I call it. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. Has anybody called it on the Wait. chat? <laughs> oh, shit. That's <laughs> fucking funny. Well, you beat me to it. There we go. Big Spice Chef did say the White Hammer is a porn star name for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I called it. So that's I. I am the... Financier. That's why the Hebrew hammer. <laughs> <laughs> the what? Holy he fucking got it. Shit. He got it. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for the votes. That nobody else went along with it. Oh, I vote that he said. Nobody it. else went along with it. They heard the vote. Nobody else went along with it. You got to say I. Well, or no. no, there were side okay. conversations okay. going on. Right, so <sighs> I vote that he because he said the uh, his name wrong. Who? The director of Hellboy. I'm not saying the name. I'm not going to say it because I'm not. I'm not saying it again because I don't know if I'll fuck it up and. Repeat nope. after me, Guillermo del Toro. There you go, him. Ow. There's, so, there's a microphone there that you put there just yeah, in case you didn't know. So that's my vote. Know, he said it wrong. Know, we need to know what he fucked up on. Saying it wrong. Saying what? It. What he just said. The name. Uh, who? The the name. It doesn't fucking help. You're the one calling it. How many times have I said it wrong? I don't know. How many times have I said it wrong? I don't know. <laughs> but you're calling a vote on you're calling a vote on him for saying a name wrong. Guillermo de Toro. Yeah, I was wrong. 
He said okay, D. That, he said he, D. He said D. <laughs> yeah, I literally just said it. Guillermo del Toro, and you said Guillermo de Toro. I said del Toro. You said no, de, you Toro. de Toro. You said D Toro. All right, all right. Oh, who's on? You said uh, D Toro. What did I say, Adam? Seriously. Hey, Big Rod. I actually missed it. <laughs> Old man Anna, tired. Old did man I say tired. Day Toro or did yeah. I say Del Toro? That's why. Well, I, can know. I just got to turn my hand Anna, be, be honest. Seriously, did I say Day Toro or Del Toro? <laughs> Del Toro. No. 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 She said Day. Now you can't even fucking hear right? Day. Jesus Christ. Me said Day. Me said Day. Me said Day. <laughs> <laughs> Daylight. Come okay, but you. So the vote for yours. Home. So the vote for yours was his. I, I have to vote nay because he was putting the letters there, but he still said it wrong though. He wasn't rolling the R's, which in the English no. alphabet rolling R's don't exist. <sighs> so I vote and I, I, nay. Okay, nay, Adam. <laughs> of course, <laughs> God, no. uh, I got the swing vote over here. I, I'm gonna say nay. Nay. Really? <laughs> okay. Fuck you. Just- <laughs> He said it wrong three times. Eat. Okay. Dick. All right. Fine. Okay. What? That's fine. He is correct. You inadvertently have to eat the dick. I apologize. Oh, I'm perfectly yeah. fine. But I would probably say the exact same way he did. I'm not. I got barrel punishment because I like get some because culture, y'all. <laughs> what is that? Cockblock by BAC. Did you just? What the fuck? All right. Uh, we got to go ahead and ask the ladies. Yeah. That's Ooh. weird. The ladies. And I don't listen too well. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm, delicious. So, it's oh, something, it's something water balance. It's something water balance. I got a little worried. I thought, I, I, thought I had uh, you get pink lemonade. It's pink lemonade. Aww. I thought it was watermelon. <laughs> That's what right. I thought it was. Sad. They are coming down. Right oh, now, man. So Your bartender's awfully clockwise. spiffy. I just noticed uh, that. Right now, he's going to test spins. Uh, they, they don't... They well, don't no, it kind of does, actually. If you actually hold the top down, it, it, it affects the thing. Cock walk with AC on Ragnar. Okay. I ask that you please treat him nicely. That's all I'm asking. Huh? Hey, you got pink lemonade. Said, Shut the fuck up. The, he said the director's name wrong. Okay. And I voted yes. They voted no. Okay, so, so you guys both had to spin? No. I had to he, spin because I said because of his speech Gilman. impediment. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. And then you got to spin again, though. Why? It was huh? a correction technique. Because you said it wrong three times. And if so you, you to have call to call it on me, that means you want to fine. draw online. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, he went to correct. Yeah, unvoted. <laughs> unvoted spin. Love it. Love it. We're having fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. That's a penis. That's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take a piss. Uh, All right, guys. I got to, okay. Yeah. We're going to take, take a break. We'll be right dum, 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 back. I'm Chris. And I'm Mel. And together we host the podcast Spoil, Spoil My, My Movie. Movie. We were watching movies anyway. And we were having in-depth conversations about those movies, too. So, we decided to share our thoughts with the world. You can expect me to gripe about inaccurate details like supposedly cold weather, but you can't see anyone's breath. And you can expect me to be totally adorable, but also psychologically deep. And by the end of each episode, we'll provide our respective ratings. Using a rating scale custom tailored to the movie in question. Check us out wherever you get your podcasts. We're everywhere. We're actually behind you right now. You have a Twitcher? Hi, everybody! We are back, <laughs> ready for punishment. So, uh. Yeah, bend oh, over. Ragnar's got something interesting, too. Bend so. over, big boy. All right, hey so now. I, I got my cock here ready to go on my mouth. I didn't know you were that flexible. Your cock. Please, Please, Please isolate that. Please, Please. Okay. somebody. Yes. Yes. The same way you got chased with the dick. All right. You're supposed to take them at the same time, not separately. Whoa. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Try it. Weird. Yeah. 
It almost looks like there's no liquid in there. It's just like, I know. Oh. <laughs> Plastic, or, you know, just sitting on the top I know. right there. Kind of it, doesn't, down. it doesn't fucking yeah. move. You know what it reminds me of? Those fake <laughs> restaurant dishes. <laughs> All right? What is that? Doesn't. But his or yours? They're mine. It was... Not bad at all. Holy shit, it doesn't move. <laughs> it doesn't move. What did you, what did you make? A <laughs> cement mixer? Holy. Tongue it. Tongue it. it tongue makes it. concrete. Tongue it and it. <laughs> Come on. It's like a... You made a seal. <laughs> all right. Is it moose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's good. It was Curacao. Mixed with the simple syrup and the watermelon <laughs> shit that was already in there. Really? <laughs> yeah. It had a lot of spice to it. Good for you, you. <laughs> No, he's great at that. How was it? That was fine. How was it? How was it? It was good. <laughs> and what did he get? Um, did it taste like anything, like a dessert-wise? Uh, the whipped cream that was on top. Oh, damn. It tasted like whipped cream. What was that? What a was cement mixer? It, it, it goddamn damn near. <laughs> I mean, it the, sealed um, it. it, it, it. 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 You couldn't get it out at all. No, I had to tongue fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it finally busted. So, I know. That's usually what happens. <laughs> so he, his was half creamy liqueur and half vanilla vodka with the Interesting. Oh, man, See, that I sounds tasty. Pretty, oh, I wanted it to taste like yeah. a pecan pie. That sounds tasty. But it didn't. Apparently, your that was cream tasty. Must, it just messed it up. But you gave me. You, you gave good. me um, a 151 what? rum and what else? Curacao. Okay. And what you didn't like it? It was okay. <laughs> it was like the very beginnings of a blue motorcycle. All right. Let me know if you need more cars. I fucking love blue motorcycles. They're They're delicious. delicious. Well, you're uh. The 13 Ghost episode is being like coming like very, uh, very spicy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> suck it. Were you told to suck it? <laughs> yes. Good. Sharona666 said, suck it. Uh, who's mm. Sharona? You got a devil in Why here? Sharona? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, would you live in a house with cool fucking glass walls like that? Not when you see the director. If I lived where he lived, yes. I don't know. It works out for the. I live. No. (laughs) It works out for the exhibitionist. Did you you see? Did you see the many bloopers where you saw the uh, cameraman and the? Oh, they had a hell of a time with that on set. Over the time, yeah. yeah, You could be just watching a scene. You just see a guy with it with his uh, headphones, just like. Like that, just in the background. It's it's all yeah, over the movie. It's kind of hard to fucking, oh, 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 I know. To, you know, to know. not have that. Yeah, it oh, was, I know, I know. They did rough. a good job, it's, especially in the well, early 2000s. It was 2000s. fucked up because, like, the yeah. first th- uh, few days of shooting, they kept doing shots and then realizing, like, they had the full crew yeah. in the background. Not a reflection, but in the background of their shot, like, eating fucking donuts and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was kind of funny. It, and it's, it's difficult, like, especially, like I said, back then in the early 2000s when this came out. They couldn't remove it with CGI. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> I, don't, like, it was a long time ago. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's that was, longer than we. Uh, <laughs> fuck, dude, that's like, that's half our age. That, see, the funny thing is that, is, that, is that it's half our age, right? And it's three quarters of your age. Fuck off. All right. And I don't know what it, what it is for your age. How, how old were you it's when you first saw this? I was a whopping. Oh wait, no, I was I was eight. You were eight yep, years old when you saw yep, this. Yep, 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 yep. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we were in like our twenty uh, nineteen. I think I was like twenty when I saw. Oh, two thousand. I almost forgot. This gentleman who was checking out our our live uh, rod, uh, he has. The barbecue sauce that we need to try. I'll be bringing that probably our next ep- uh the next time I'm here. Okay. I'm going to cry. Uh, there is a spicy version. I'd rather not. Then. Bring that. Um, <laughs> it's award winning. Bring the spicy one. And he will. He's going to be starting Let a business with it. I love the spicy. Right so I would like to have us try that. Definitely, we'll try. And do a review. I do love me a good barbecue sauce. We would be uh, officially endorsing this. 
Cause if it, it's good, I've, if I've already. Yeah, we're I've not, all, if if it's good, like, no. it I've already had it. It's fucking good. <laughs> well, you're, you're not gonna endorse it without trying. <laughs> no, I'm not endorsing without trying. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not assholes here. We're not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, rather we are assholes here. That's yeah. why we we're won't not endorse liars. something we don't like. <laughs> but no, it's fucking good, dude. No. Okay, Badass. just okay. Take so that. now I understand the Twitch name. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Big Rod's Barbecue Sauce. Yeah. So. Um, so any, welcome to our Twitch chat. Yeah. Yep. Any hewer, I just I kept having this idea in my head while we were watching this. I want a spoof of this movie where all of the Latin inscriptions on the walls are Comic Sans. Did we just talk about this in the tasting? Room? I, I I mentioned it in the tasting room because of that. I've been thinking of that all fucking week. <laughs> So explain. And the torso. Yeah, explain. The, the, <laughs> what do you mean? Explain. explain. Explain it for the individuals that don't know what you're talking about. Comic Sans. Comic Sans. Comic Sans is a font okay. that is commonly used at like the high school bulletins mm -hmm. where it's that, I don't know, it looks like marker. Yeah. It's just the stupid fucking font. Okay. And I want that as the Latin inscriptions. And I want like the torso to be wrapped in bubble wrap instead, and <laughs> bubble wrap. <laughs> yes. And, you know what's funny? Like so every single time you move, you. So so Cyrus had to actually go and find these where these ghosts were. Yeah, and he right? was dumped in the ocean, which and, is yeah, confusing. exactly. So he literally had to maybe go he was maybe scuba he was, diving. Take a maybe he was actually haunting the horse race track that he was always always at. But it was a boxing Maybe. Match it was, it was a way. boxing match yeah. that he died from, yes, but he was always at the horse race track. That's where he always bet. Yeah, but most ghosts are around where they're dead, no. where they die. Absolutely not. No. Uh, no, well, I mean, there's multiple. That's, that's actually no. I, I think he's right. No, he's not. He's not. Ghosts are usually ghosts around. Can be numerous places. They can be yeah. whether where they died, where they where they spent the most amount of time. So the most, yeah. the most. Are, are we talking about like like real life? Yes. Okay. So yeah. in real life, the most common type of haunting is what a lot of people uh, call an echo. It's it's an on loop replay of something that happened that is most often attributed to simply either a particular emotion that was constantly felt in that area. Or something that happened that had a huge emotional impact that seems to have like imprinted on the surrounding area. They may have never been in the country when they died of that same event. But it just plays on loop. You will never interact with it. It will never interact with you. It just happens whether you're there or not. Hmm. That's why you have horny ghosts at horn sites. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> um, the second... It's kind of intriguing. Yeah, the, the less... But almost disturbing. So what if you get the wrong horny ghost? You should see the ghosts from Diddy's freakout parties. I don't. I don't want to... Diddy's with his oh, thousand dude. bottle lubes. I'm so done. I'm oh. so done. And dildos. I mean, I, I think there was like a shitload of dildos found yeah. in his house or something like that. Yeah, he had freak off parties. Oh. And it's amazing to see a fucking goddamn you been seeing... legal document saying the words freak off parties. <laughs> Thousands of bottles of lube. Of baby, and baby oil. Baby lotion and, and oil. Lube. And lube, okay. And yeah. lube. Why didn't he just bulk buy it? You can get yeah. the 55 gallon I think, drums. So I fucking I, gonna afford I, it. Thing. <laughs> uh, Token brought up a great point booty juice. Booty juice. Booty juice. You wanted the smaller containers. You didn't want to have to, like the big container that you were refilling and covered in booty juice. Booty All right. You wanted the smaller it's fucking booty sweat. Booty, that's no, what I was going to say. I'm booty talking sweat. about booty juice. Oh. The, all right. Okay. I'm talking about like the juice that came out of Carlos Wenzel's anus. Yeah. All right. Oh, you didn't hear about that? Supposedly, yeah. Diddy fucked Carl Winslow. All right. Way to go. All right. Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> From Family Matters? Yes. Yeah. That's disturbing. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Fuck. Yeah. I don't like that. Happy yes. Halloween, that everybody. That ruins my fucking... Exactly. 
There goes our childhood, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Diddy diddle Carl. You're, you're fucking with me, right? No. Better than Carl Weathers. <laughs> <laughs> really? <All right. laughs> Am I wrong? Wait, no. That's Am yeah, I wrong? fucking wrong. It's, it's wrong. It's fucking shitty either way. He's, a, <laughs> he's always been like a child, you know, yeah. fucking family matters. And that's die why hard. I'm saying booty juice. Not booty sweat, booty juice. Because you know that is juicy coming out of there. All right. Out of that big man that he was. Ugh. As a big man. You're ruining it I for can me. say. There's booty juice. Uh. All right. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yep. There are your yeah. nightmares. You're welcome. So, but that brought to the point where you wanted smaller bottles to just be able to kind of squirt in there and not have to touch the person because you didn't want to get it covered in other material. And he's on suicide watch now. Yeah, just like Epstein. Yeah, I was going to say, just like yeah. Epstein. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, you know who I wouldn't be surprised to hear at was at a freak out or a freak off party? Bill motherfucking Clinton. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee he's definitely yeah. So, anywho. Bye-bye, Diddy. Let's backtrack <laughs> to what we were talking greed. about. The less, com uh, the less common haunting <laughs> is an intelligent haunting that will interact with you. Yeah. And that is... The best way I've heard it described is like getting into a car accident without a seatbelt. Mm. Your body stops and you were not prepared for it. And there's your spirit. Stuck most of the time, not even aware that they're dead. Yeah. Um, those will almost ex exclusively happen at the site of, of, a, of the death. Now, there are reports of intelligent hauntings of an identifiable entity, not where the death was, mm -hmm. but almost exclusively at a location that had great, great significance to that person. So it's kind of hit or miss, but it's not. That's like everybody claims that cemeteries are haunted. That's bullshit. That. Some of them may be. No, some of them are. Yeah, and, and that's, the, that's the thing. Cemeteries are not where you want to go to do ghost hunting. No one is very sentimentally attached to their fucking humorous. Okay? There's no reason for you I to mean, be... I, I like my humorous. <laughs> Did you look down at your leg for that? Yeah. No, yeah, that's here, bud. I know. I know. <laughs> I like um, my humorous. That's why he did it, because it was humorous. <laughs> um... Anyway, but but it's very unlikely to have a spirit. You're late. That, Don't do it. I know yeah. that that will hang out at a burial site. Yeah. Um, and unless there's an item of significance that was buried with them. Yeah. Or the, so, or the location of the of the cemetery itself. Say, for instance, anywhere in Virginia battlefield. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, it, it's the cemeteries around here are, but. Where battles held. Yeah, but so, probably not haunted by the people in that cemetery. Unless it was well, a field cemetery. They, yeah. Yeah. Unless they died on but, the battlefield around that cemetery. But like I've mentioned before, there's a Home Depot around here out on Route 3 that was, the construction was halted six different times because they kept finding human remains. God mm. damn it, another one. And <laughs> I worked there for about two years and saw haunting shit all the fucking time. I saw two full body apparitions. Which is the holy grail. People will die never seeing that. I knew your ghost stuff was going to come into this episode. Well, yeah, it's a show about ghosts. Yeah. I, I just, I knew it was going to come up. Turkey <laughs> ghosts. We're going to talk about ghosts? Right. No. Wild. No, ghosts <laughs> other than the ones in the movie. Yeah. You don't say. No. Um, hey, we're releasing it around Halloween. Oh, no, Halloween? No, nope, like the, the HEPA air filters would get thrown out I in the aisle way. Yeah. I saw a guy get hit in the face with two rolls of duct tape. Yeah. Um, that was hilarious because he reacted by just going silent, looking at it, like looking back at me like, did you see that shit? And just turning around and walking off like, I didn't wake up for this. I'm going home. Did the air filter? Filter the ghost. Fuck off. <laughs> what? It, I want to know how good HEPA is. All right. That's a hell of a tagline. Yes. All right. We will purify. No, it's made with white sage yeah. now. We are purifying. <laughs> That's Purifying fantastic. Your home. No. 
Uh, you look at the filter, it looks like a cartoon went through it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that would be amazing. Fuck! <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> so, anyway, where do we go from here? Oh, um, would you take the leap? Into that bladed machine? Yeah. Would you take the leap like he did? I mean, if it's for your family? Yeah. Yeah, if they have my kids, I wouldn't even fucking blink. I'd be like, yeah. 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 It's simple. Uh, family. Family okay. comes first. What are you going to save them from? They're sitting still. Why are you whispering? Eventually, they have to move. <laughs> yeah, when it stops. What are you going to save them from? You don't from? know when it's going to stop? <laughs> no. But it's going to. You hope. It's a perpetual motion device now. Or is it just connected <laughs> to fucking goddamn I guess ghosts. The external power source? <laughs> or a fucking undying power source like ghosts? I don't know. Yeah, oh, the thing was already, it was really <laughs> sorry. When, for he, me, it when was he made really, that jump, it was already falling apart anyways. Right. So But he didn't know that. That's though. true. That's true. To me, it just seemed dumb. It was really touching. Don't get me no, wrong. What was it was very no, touching, what was but fucking like, dumb was the fact that Cyrus, in the fucking junkyard, had his neck split in half. I, right? Okay, that was a plot then, hole I didn't, couldn't understand. And then he no. shows up. Was he up. dead or was he alive? He's, alive the whole He's still alive. Yeah. He faked his death. And okay. he shows up. I didn't know that. I couldn't figure that out. Still alive with his neck slit open. Yeah. I think it was, like, canonically just makeup. That's all it was. Met, I don't know why he didn't way. take the makeup so, off. So basically, that, that, that's while, dumb. While this whole thing, while this, he was uh, planning on, if people when people saw him, they would see him as a ghost, and they just like some of the other ghosts were showing up with the wounds that they had when they died. So he was showing up with the wounds that he had when he died. Yeah, you know, and that's all it was. It's just a freak out more <clears throat> and make it less likely that you're going to believe. Like, Where do you a, hide? The, no, no, that's what I'm house. saying. I think <laughs> under the stairs. I think it, it, they, they kept showing like, the stairs and like it looked like there was some opaque blank area that they, they would show at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, and I'm thinking there was a hidden fucking area right there. So, so was, but, yeah, so yeah, was yeah, he but, just like hiding on anything? Like, oh, no, I'm thinking like a whole separate room. I'm thinking a whole fucking room. Scooby Doo villain. Fucking, like, while, yeah. <laughs> while the juggernaut's being captured, does he go just hide behind a car and start doing makeup on yes. himself? Yes. Okay. He he, because he knew he had to get the thirteenth ghost. That's why he's already like, "Don't worry, we're gonna catch the twelfth ghost, and then the 13th. All right. He had a whole fucking plan. Yeah. I was like, I gotta. I already got the fucking you know the my um my niece in law. I don't know. I don't know what she would be. It was um, probably some kind of. Do you think he removed. started the fire? He could have. I would have put a past him. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, "All right, so I'm I'm gonna uh, fake my death." So this way, it's believable as why Tony Shalhoub's character is inheriting this whole shit and set him up to sacrifice himself to be the 13th ghost and win-win. All right. Which, great. I I, felt, I thought it was a really good twist to have the bitch be a part of the yeah. plan. I thought it was a You weren't expecting twist. that at all. Oh, no, yeah. The first time I saw it, first I, time, I, I was like, but he didn't care oh, about it. Oh, that fucking whore. Oh, that fucking whore! Yeah, because she squ- <laughs> she got herself fucking squished because he didn't fucking need her anymore. Yeah, yeah. it didn't make any. He I- used her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that he shit used was everybody. funny. <laughs> I like the fact that he used the fucking lawyer. Things like that. When as soon as he lawyer picked up the bag, yeah. triggers everything. You can always count on greed. Yeah, I'm like that's perfect. But but he it, it was set up. I as guess if it was less. He greed. wrote the note to the lawyer. Told him. All right, you do all this, then you go downstairs and you go say fuck you to the ghosts and go pick up the fucking bag of money. Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. And he knew that when the lawyer got to a good point, he'd come pick up the bag of money and trigger everything. All right, he was erasing the lawyer out of the fucking equation to be one less person who knew the truth yep. or knew what was possibly going on. Set him up, get him gone. He knew dumb bitch would be coming in who would, uh, you know, sell the, sell the story that he wanted to be sold to get Tony Shalhoub to make the jump. All right, that he wanted to be fucking done the sacrifice. Boom. All right, and then erase her by purposely letting her fucking get squished. All right, so mm-hmm. he'd they be did, the They last really did one. stick with the weird last names between the original and the, and the remake. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Zorba and was it Criticos? Yes. Yeah. Criticos. It's been a while since I've seen it. I'm trying to remember the ghosts, the ghosts that were in the original in 13. I remember one was oh, the sheets chef. over the head. I remember the chef. Oh, fuck. It's been a while since yeah. I've seen it. 
Um, I, I thought that they, they were very great because, th th first of all, this is Dark Horse, which is uh, Castle Films uh, from the, uh, uh, I believe, the 50s. Was it the 50s or the, f I believe the 50s. 50s. Yeah, and the thing about it is, is that they've done redone remakes of most of the, a lot of their films. They did House on Haunted Hill, they did Ghost Ship, they mm -hmm. did, uh, I actually, I don't know if Ghost Ship is based on a movie. Right? Ghost Ship, I, I didn't think it was a remake. It was. I don't think Ghost Ship is a remake. Yeah. Okay. yeah. House on Haunted Hill, 13 Ghosts, House of the Wax. Least. I think it was. Uh, and then I know that uh, that one with Hall uh, Halle Berry. Um, Gothica? Yes. That's actually from Ghost House. There's also called The Reaping. I've never seen that one. The Reaping. You ever heard of that one where it's basically like the uh, Plagues of Egypt, but it's in modern times? It's got uh, What's uh, your Hillary favorite Swank of those remakes? Yes. It's oh, House on a Hill. Same yeah. name, 1952. I love House on a Hill. Is that the one with uh, okay. Owens? So, That's the one with Jeffrey Rush. So, say it's a so not a remake. Yeah, it just... Jeffrey Rush plays Vincent Price's role in House uh, House on Haunted Hill is my favorite out of the bunch. Uh, House of Wax is fun, and this is fun, but House on Haunted Hill I enjoyed. It's also got uh, Chris Catan. Is that how you say his name? Yeah. From uh, Catan? You ever played Catan? Yeah. <laughs> Did I say it wrong again? If no. you were a settler. Catan. <laughs> is it Catan? <laughs> no. Are you? F I'm not saying it anymore. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> You guys have already no. fucked with me too many times. You're talking about different things. You dummy. You don't know. You don't even know you're talking about different things. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, 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 a tabletop game. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. It's a farm game. Settlers of Catan. Catan. Yeah. Or is it Catan? Depends on it's the Katana. region that you live it's in. It's C A T A N. Cat Ann. Cat Ann. Huh? Can I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I like mouse. Cat and what are you doing? Cat and mouse. What the, this show has gone off the, the fucking dude. rails. It, it's just like your Con Air show. Oh God. <laughs> Super Troopers. Hey, it's a funny show. It's glaring. Shit. I mean, you, you, you've been going over most of the ghosts, but what is glaring? I do have a question. What's your question? What Smoke is? is Shut up, Stu. No, here's a question. What is the worst ghost out of the whole 13? The worst ghost? You got it, and I, I appreciate it. The torso. <laughs> I'm the oldest. I thought it'd be the Withered Lover. <laughs> the Withered Lover was boring. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. So, okay, what do you think is the most boring ghost out of the whole 13? Withered Lover. The, no, the one that hanging. <coughs> oh, the, the, the bound one that woman? got choked by her boyfriend at prom? The bound woman. Yeah, that one. She was stupid. Her back door And was it wasn't at bad, prom. So. Which one? Bound woman. She got caught. She got. She got she flirting with everybody. Her fucking uh, football boyfriend got pissed to see her flirting with everybody. Fucking not flirting. Not flirting. Getting Fuck caught me. having sex. Yeah. They, she, right. got, she was caught banging. And then her. burying her under the fifty yard line. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like oh. After God, after damn. choking her yes. with his tie. Yeah. yeah. Killing killing the guy that she was fucking. Choking her with his tie and then burying her. See, I kind of wish I thought the that they had taken the bound woman and the um, the one that's in the, the baseball bat. One. Oh, the the, prin the, prince, uh, the, torn uh, prince. the torn prince. The torn prince. I kind of wish they had connected their stories. Like he killed her. Townsfolk got mad, killed him, uh, and then buried him. And it, they just put another. But that a would... yin and yang version. Of the Withered Lover and the Thirteenth Ghost. That would be well. The Torn Prince was uh, was a baseball player. Yeah. Yes. But so, was he like a uh, college or high school or high school? High, high school. school. Yeah. And he okay. Was so Crystal the... had a pretty good point. Is the Thirteenth Ghost is actually should be the Great Child? No, the Great Child and the uh, and the Dire Mother were both two separate ghosts. He didn't sacrifice. Them. No, they no, were, they they represented they a single symbol of the of the Black Zodiac. But when they were on oh, that whole God. ring. They were separate from each other. They represented a single entity. Really? He was oh. half of cog of cognition, whoa, 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 whoa. and she yeah. would. And yeah, they represented All right, a single firstborn symbol. son, which was the um, the oop. the arrow kid. Yeah, the torso. Yep. Bound woman. The bound woman. Withered lover. Withered lover. Torn, torn prince, prince. The angry princess. princess the pilgrimess. The, the great child. child the dire, dire mother. mother the hammer. The Jackal, Jackal, the Juggernaut. Juggernaut. At 12, 13th Ghost would be Tony Shalhoub. Um, they included them, well, when they were in... Um, the Great Child and Dire Mother they, they, are two separate. Hand hand. They included them. Yeah, yeah, yeah they they're two, but they're two separate ghosts. But they were separate. 
Yeah. Mm. So it wasn't it wasn't one single ghost. That that was two separate ghosts. Well, they were represented as, as one single. Uh, but you could argue the then that but, that's but why there'd be thirteen. But what her her ideal was is that his uh, the reason he died was because he avenged his mother. But out of he his, didn't out sacrifice of love. himself. He didn't make a sacrifice out of love. Yeah. All right. It was he went on a vengeance streak, got caught, fucked around, and found out. All True right. That. True that. So who was? <laughs> I mean, that's, so who was the thirteen? Different. Who was the thirteen ghosts? The thirteenth was Cyrus. Yeah, Matthew Lillard. But he. Yeah, well, yeah, Matthew Lillard. I thought Cyrus was the virus. <laughs> that's. A, <laughs> I was thinking Conier. that. I was thinking that too. <laughs> no, but I mean, I only had the balls to say it. He he <laughs> dies at the end when he gets cut up by the machine, so he becomes the thirteen ghosts after that because you never see him as a ghost. Well, you never see who is a ghost. Cyrus. Mm-hmm. When did you see him as hundred percent? Yeah, at the end, you hundred percent see him. Where I made the comment while we're outside, how shitty it was that oh, as a ghost you were talking about about Dennis. No, I'm talking about Cyrus. No. no. Cyrus last water. No. 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 Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus is the, is the uh, is uncle. Murray. Cyrus is the uncle. Abram. That's right. That's right. No, you're absolutely right. I'm yeah. sorry. I, oh. I got the name confused. Oh. Yeah, I got the name confused. I got to call yeah. that. Call it, call it. Call it. Call it. I 100% got the name confused. Yep. I, for what? For well, him For him being uh, wrong on saying okay. the wrong person. He, he said it three different times. Okay. Oh, I. Adam. Oh, I, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's... Ragnar? Don't matter. <laughs> <coughs> Daddy picks, which means it's you. Spicy shit. You, you better say it. Pepper. You better say it with fucking gusto, bitch. You got, you, got, you got pepper here. Daddy, punish me. Goddamn right. Don't get your He hasn't out. had that in a long time. <laughs> and that's actually a fantastic idea. Give me that, but I'm going to mix it with something else. Ooh. I said it nice. I said it, I said it nice. You still, uh, <laughs> hey, you oh, might get some goddamn hiccups. Fuck. <laughs> you don't actually get hiccups from that one anymore. He oh, hasn't man. had that thing in forever. How long has it been? Uh, a long fucking time. Just on the bed. It's almost done. It's only got like a little bit left. <laughs> Although my lungs are already getting ready. <laughs> We're all like, do you feel? Do you yeah, feel, <laughs> yeah, I already feel the hiccups. I'm like, fuck. He's gonna start hiccup before he even drinks it. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna be like, and origin. Go for it. it. That's been a very popular one lately for punishment shots. Uh, but I don't care. I, that's a James that sucks. Yeah, it's not gonna be an enjoyable shot for me at all. <laughs> eh, you'll be fine. See, you're barely getting any. You already filled up most with the uh, the orange shit. You're fine. That's not almost done either. Yeah, where are you fucking in that almost done? You got to remember, like, his logic for, like, volume, numbers, words, totally fucking off. Yeah, it always is. <laughs> I, I admit it. <laughs> You'll be fine. That's barely any of the spicy stuff in there. It's mainly more it's the James and Orange. I will say, that's a nice color. What's it look like? That's a nice Ooh. color. I can't even see. That's a nice light gold. It's very deceiving. It looks like yeah. piss. It looks uh, like piss. Are, are, you, are the, you dehydrated you, piss? You not drink water? I mean, you really should probably be called that too. You know, <laughs> I'm sure everybody's had piss that color before. Yeah, when you're not. Yeah, after a night of drinking. Okay, yeah. So why? Yes, I've had piss like that before. I'm judging, yeah. I'm judging you right now. Batteries in it, man. It huh? was lit up. It was lit up. What'd you, what'd you do? Did the batteries die? Uh, oh, I, see, big, I see you fighting it. Big Spicy um, Chef actually pointed it out that it wasn't lit anymore. Oh, battery Fuck. dead. Just... Yeah! <laughs> really? Is it spicy? You, only, you barely had any in there. Yeah, <laughs> you had enough. <laughs> That's what. This is uh, bird's eye chili, cocoa beans, orange peel, vanilla dream. Whatever he mixed it with, I don't remember. It's like, I don't know. I got it on the bottom. Bird's eye. It's a bird's eye chili. <laughs> This is satisfying. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's uh, <laughs> I can't read that. I don't have my glasses on. I just read them off. You just read them off, dude. Oh, you did? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Bird's eye chili, vanilla bean. Sorry, vanilla dream, cocoa bean, and orange peel. Oh, the orange peel. So that it... That's why I paired them. Was it still spicy? Really? 
It's not. Because there was barely any on the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I did. I let it sit on my tongue. I did. And it still activated all the receptors. <laughs> okay. It was thereby triggered my autonomic reflex. So I was like, <coughs> no, bad. Away. Uh, and yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> all right, let's Which go back. Because, like, Annie Cap Hot Fries, I fucking love Annie Cap Hot Fries. That's uh-huh. spicy, though. But it's not, it's like, that's like my max of enjoyment. But those beyond that, eating multiple that, times can actually get your mouth pretty hot, and you—that doesn't bother you. No. So I'll sit there and eat, and no, like, it, gets, it gets hot, and I, I and I feel it's starting to get hot, but it, it's still the flavor. Is I know, there. but you no. you've always it, say how you don't hot, like you but think it's flavorful. Yeah. Anything beyond that, then the heat overtakes the flavor, and I'm just like, all right, I can't enjoy this anymore. I don't understand it at all. No. Yeah, but guess what though, you're not, you're fine now. Yeah. You know, it's still there. My tongue still feels like there's heat, like a, yeah, like a hot you, blanket. Yeah, but the hiccups aren't there. Yeah. So, hey, Anna. Hey, Anna, can you give me a liquid death, please? Well, I got to take my punishment hey, shot Anna, from can earlier. You tell him to fuck off. Oh, you still haven't taken that? Oh! <laughs> Damn. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate Thank you, it. Man. <laughs> I got to take my punishment shot from earlier, my uh, barrel of punishment. So, of this. So, <laughs> why do you wait so long to take your shit? It's holding on to it. So hold on. So is I there a time constraint? Wait. I can just wait. Oh, as long as it's in the episode, okay. you're fine. I remember that. Why does that matter? Because then I can just I could dump my shit. Because then I can know, mom, what's happening to me? Eh, okay, it has to be in the. Off. No, but it has to be in the I, episode. That would have been in the episode. I would dump my shot, <laughs> walk off. No, you have to stay. We have to see no, your reaction. No, no, no. Now you're making simulations. No, the reaction. I mean, well, no, I can fuck. wait. I can wait fucking hours before I take my goddamn shot. Apparently. And this isn't the first time you've done this either. No, it's not. Yeah. What? Big I Rod. So, I so, how many times have you seen me wait to take my fucking pot? Big shot? Rod says you're a little yeah. bitch, and that's white people hot. I still yeah. take it. It is. Uh, 100%. That's white people hot. Yeah. Absolutely Andy agree. <laughs> Absolutely agree, Big Rod. But keep in mind, if you're looking for endorsements, now you know where my pussy level is. Okay? <laughs> it's very low. Very low. <laughs> All right. So, this guy, I however, don't. loves spicy, so make him I don't cry. Sp- I don't mind yeah. spicy. Spicy make him doesn't cry. bother me. But put if it's Satan's high spice, asshole I can't in it for it. him. I will absolutely say that. I want to try his spicy barbecue sauce. Yeah. Sure. That's that's uh some kind of award winning. I don't remember what award. Honestly, yeah. if it's too fucking spicy, it's literally it's just disgusting. Yeah. It's disgusting just to taste, and it fucking it's disgusting. It just meat. becomes super acidic. Yeah. Although mango spicy is really good. Oh, fuck yeah. Spicy mango. Oh. Mango habanero is so Harley hysteric. would die. Why? Harley is allergic to mangoes. Oh, that's that... Some, that sucks, dude. Really? That's the first I've heard of that. Oh, no. See, multiple times. I've is it just hurt. that fruit? Yeah. That's oh, right. That random. I did not know that. Multiple times I've heard get inadvertently <laughs> exposed to mango. Oh. And it immediately started fucking swelling up and breathing problems. I'm like, so is it eating it, eating you. it, or touching it? Um, definitely ingesting. Yeah. I don't. Definitely I don't think I've seen her or touch too. mango. Uh, um, the award he won was the best so. tasting sauce okay. at the National Barbecue Cookoff. Oh, congrats! So, hey, if it, I'm definitely looking forward yeah. to trying it. I am. We will. Absolutely am. Yeah, we'll definitely. I'm uh, hoping I'm not gonna be a little bitch and not be able to stand it. I'm hoping. He's hey, going to no, give if, us if the he, mild he, and the hot. Yeah, if he brings us a bottle, I'll uh, okay. do some chicken on the grill or something like that before we do our show and smother Word. it in it, and we'll try it out and do a taste test. Word. So we're not going to be using your um, hot dog machine that you insisted you'd be using multiple times a week? You think I don't use that? Ask my wife. <laughs> I use it constantly. Damn, you got a fucking pen. Did you? No, it's just you, you said that I would never use that. No, no, no. Bring Sammy down here. I was fucking serious. Good job. I know. Go ahead. I use that thing a lot. I love that thing. For fuck's sakes, man. You got really pissed about that. I didn't get pissed. I'm just saying it. Bull bullshit, you lying sack. You get like, pissed and defensive. I'm just saying. I use it all the time. Oh, see, yeah, see, now you're calm. Now you're calm about it. When you fucking because you told me I was being too loud, you, so I'm going calm. No, I didn't say loud. 
I said defensive and pissed. All right. Well, I just changed right? my. Uh, I changed it. So when you watch this and listen to this, all right, at whatever fucking mile marker we're at right now. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna hear the fucking difference. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't hear a difference. I don't see the difference. No, in I'm this. sure there's a difference. But no, I don't see. It. I don't see the I'm difference. I'm making a big in deal this. about it. You're making a big deal about it. I'm not making a big deal about it. No, so you're now making you're a big deal about God. it. Now he's trying to repeat it. Like, now he's trying to repeat it. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> see, he's trying to do stuff like that. And blah 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 blah. Who'd win a fight, Jason or Frankenstein? Frankenstein. No, Jason. No, Jason, because Jason can get killed and still come back. That was the most random shit. He, yeah. he, that's what he does. Yeah. yeah. I saw Jason over there. <laughs> who do you think? Would, okay, no. Who would you think would win? Actually, which version? Hammer of versus Juggernaut. Uh, juggernaut. Juggernaut. Nope. Hammer versus Juggernaut. 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 Mm. Ghost think, form or pre ghost form? Ghost form. <sighs> ghost form, I would give it to Juggernaut. Yeah. Because he was shown being able to like toss over fucking stacks of cars. And shit like that. Um, but you never actually At the end of the day, though, they're not the going to die. <laughs> able to, or but I was able to actually, well, the hammer's just got the sledgehammer. I give it to Hammer with the fucking hammer. And <laughs> just fucking swing over the fences. True. All right. I, I'm trying to also let yeah. Adam talk. <laughs> I know, but he hasn't talked you're about not wearing him. headphones, I'm so you need loud. to know where your sound's at. I'm over here. It <laughs> sounds like you're in a, like... All the way back here. There's a huge difference in sound. Because I I'll keep th- taking the fucking mic. <laughs> Adam, I want you to talk. I just didn't hey, share hey I, do you remember what you... Sharing his camera. Sharing his camera. Sharing his camera. I I <laughs> you and I used to perfectly mic, mic swap. Yeah. Like, I don't... But most of the that time sounded you really fucking bad back. right now. Yeah. yeah. All right? Most of the time it sounded kind of fucking gay. You're owning welcome. the fucking right. mic Just swapping. saying. I'm <laughs> Did y'all swap a lot? They yeah, they did. Lot. Oh, they yeah. swapped. They, they swapped the mics a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ron, stop fucking making it weird. <laughs> Delay. Sounds like you're intelligent. Twelve Delay. seconds. I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't gonna go there, but I did. I know. Okay. Well, stop anyway. Making it weird. I think we've pretty much covered. Chase is making it weird everything. enough. You know what? The only one thing that we never talked about. Please tell me. My balls. No, we talked about it. We talked about it in the beginning. The kid. My back. <laughs> the kid that was annoying. My anxiety attack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was good. That was good. No, you want to do the prime reviews? Love. I think I think we've pretty much reached all of it. I love the banter, but at this the same time, f- we're not talking about the movie anymore. I'm not going to lie. This is a fun <laughs> Halloween episode. This is fun. Okay. Oh, oh, what do you got? All right. What you so, got? House, badass house. Right? The glass house? Yeah. Bad- yeah oh, house. Yeah. house house. Oh, okay. You know, uh, private. So, glass is not very at that ha- point. Not very private. No. But, uh, secluded, where it was set? Secluded. It was secluded, so it can be, it can be those glass walls. And mm-hmm. Yeah. You still have privacy. Right. And with beautiful environment, beautiful atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, antiques and okay. everything. If you knew sitting in the basement in chambers were these assholes, but you didn't know it was going to turn into a machine and stuff like that, but you knew that, that these fucking little fucking fuckheads were sitting down there. Oh, I'd stay. Okay. That's what I was going. I'd stay. I'd Are study. you staying? Are you going? So, all right, so there's going to be multiple follow-up questions for this. Okay, you can only see them if you have the glasses on, just like reality. Okay. If they're stuck in the chambers and stuck in the basement. Oh, it's sick. They, they're not, you can't really hear them. They're not bothering you. They're as long stuck. As you stay the fuck they're down stuck there. in their cubes. Yes, yeah, they're in the cubes. Oh, they're yes. pissed off. All right, they're angry, angry fucking spirits just chilling. See, and you need con- like you're upstairs and you taking need a shit, and you know, like right underneath of you. Oh, see, that's fucked up. Yeah, I, right I, dude, underneath of you. If I was one of them and that was happening above me, I'd be so fucking yes, pissed. Exactly. Um, but see, you need constant power, but the power to keep those I feel cubes the power contained is, and closed is coming from the city. The, the magic part. 
Oh, um, from the sigils. See, that's and, not ever but, explained. But I, that's yeah. what I feel the like. Power, the machine is powered no, by you, the ghost. You would need power to be able to open the doors. They are stuck but, at, shut as they are. And the, the power the, to keep the them there is, is the sigil. So the you're power saying, is the magic because all of the writings on the glass is what enchanted the glass and prevented them from getting okay, out. Okay, so, 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 so once those glass panels shifted and allowed them out... But as long as they were behind the glass panels, that's why they were carrying that one glass panel in yeah. front of them. Yeah, but if the power if the power them. goes out, yeah, but, but there's no there's it's not energy though. No, it's but they're electric. trapped in those things. Those things can like open automatically by but if the power no, goes no. out. It's, it's not so all right, power, so the like the, the cables, so the cables themselves that are going into the fucking cubes, right? So what you're saying then is <clears throat> that their energy force from inside of the cube. Is pow- is going through these power cables to power up a main supply point to keep the house powered and protected? I know. No. Yes. The power. The power. That's what you said. No. 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 Because the, you, said, be you said the power, the the writings and everything are powered by okay, the I didn't, spirits. I didn't mean, I didn't mean my power. I'm, talk, I'm talking about the what is what is keeping these spirits in the room. When I mean power, I, what I mean is by the whatever force magic mm-hmm. is is it the magic that is written on the panels? Yeah, that is what is keeping them in. Yeah, it's not in the it's not the the wires and the electrical is probably for the movement of the walls. That, that's what all I mean. The activation things like that. But, but that if those have to do with, that doesn't have anything to do with the magic. No, it's not. It's not the magic the that's keeping them there though. The doors are closed, right? Yes, to, but if to the look, cubes, but the doors okay. have the writing on them. I, they if do the it. Yes, is all they, they're yes, not, they're they're not, not. There the is doors no are not power. Gonna, but there is no power. The doors are needed. not going to default open because there's power. The power went out. No, I mean they could. Says who? How, who? Yeah, exactly. They could. No, see, I took it as because they talked about the designs were based on um, the devil's blueprint or whatever, and powered by the spirit world. When they, when they were talking the about the machine in the middle, yeah. is yes. All right, so. I took it all those wires that you see, those weird plugs. That was designs from the original machine from the 1500s or whatever it was that was drawn out by a thing on a smaller basis that was transferring the ghost power to turn the gears to do all the shit and make the puzzle box of the house function. Mm. So if you stop the gears from turning it doesn't matter you have the ghost power or not all this other shit isn't moving all this other shit isn't you know switching around and being ghostly powered um so you could like throw a fucking a goddamn bar in the gears to stop them from spinning and there you go door stays shut everything fucking is done and over with because it's still a mechanical machine it's a machine the way that i saw this was it was designed in the 1500s. Yes. Okay. The machine <clears throat> was, yeah, designed by the devil. Okay, cool deal. The Oculus Infernum was powered by the dead. Only able to actually use that power once they were standing on the sigils. The containment was completely modern and a way to deliver them to those sigils. See, I believe the containment was planned out by the the psychic who was the force from, you know, the devil that you know knowing that they may not have had the ability to produce the machine at that time, to, especially on the scale that was needed to open up this massive there's no re- there's no requirement for the, the but walls otherwise to be glass. you're having the gate to hell being the size <laughs> of the fucking Red Bull can versus the size of yeah. this this room. Um, there's no, but you there's could, a difference that the rotation of that gear mechanism could be achieved by the power of fucking donkeys. Not, yes, not but not a at big that, power grid. But not at the possibly you needed the the spirits strength. To resonate at certain frequencies, it's like they just needed to be within the ring, <clears throat> for, like. So what? what yeah, what but is, you but to be guided to that point, the, the, you needed the power. You needed to have them in this this human size machine, this life size machine 
to guide them to this point. Otherwise, it's like herding fucking you know cats. Good fucking luck. Well, you had uh, to, you had yeah. to, you had to get them all to the same place. Yeah, and you had then to get them there. Whether you and then you had over, to have the ability to because yeah. you couldn't just you know tell them hey go here. No, you had to kind of force them to that place using all these moving mechanical, yeah. uh, you know, borders and walls and shit like that. You're like, you can't cross this way. All you can keep going is that way and just keep moving them that way. It wasn't a particular person that was saying, hey, come here or you come here. No, they weren't cooperating. It was until they got into that ring and then they were kind of locked in. Um, so what? what's your question, though? All right. If you knew they were chilling in the basement, you had these angry, vengeful spirits, including ones that and have... They couldn't, and they couldn't escape. As far as you knew, they couldn't escape. Like, you saw a rod sitting in a gear, and it was like, as long as that gear doesn't fucking spin, you're golden. Those doors ain't opening. Yeah, I'm staying. You're good. Um, are you... Are you Bringing your family in there, you chilling, uh, that, that you living in that. A that place. I'm not and knowing that my you, family. Were, yeah. you and your. I, mean, I just said it. But no, you it. brought your family. You, uh, yeah. you totally, totally brought the family in there. Um, no, are you bringing your family and knowing that you will financially be taken care of the rest of your life? Oh come on, She's not, that's what he said. To, they they told him. Yeah, yeah, I know. You what will you say. never have to worry about working another day in your life. Would You're you, good. Would You're you golden. Bring, well, what's uh, your answer? I, I'm asking first, and then I will answer. <laughs> All right. Fuck, okay. Don't I, fucking base your shit on me. I'm not. I, no, I'm not doing it. Okay, so, I'm question, not doing it. So, but your question is is based off of the decision that he that Tony had because based he off, didn't have no, no, he didn't you know knew, about the but ghosts. No, if if you knew at the time, all right. Hey, there's these assholes chilling downstairs. Stay the fuck out of front downstairs and don't let these gears turn. You're golden. You're gravy. Um, are you choosing to stay? Are you oh, roll the actually, out? yeah. No, I'm moving my family in, and I'm bringing a welder down to the gear to the gear <laughs> room. <laughs> that's well, smart. That, that's that's smart. That, but welds break. Welds break all the time. They do. That's why you make enough of them. No, you I, just I lock. You, you <laughs> lock, no, you lock the room up so nobody can access it, and it stays the way it is. Ah, uh, you're gonna need to be able to access but, it. But you're yeah. still gonna, there, there's always gonna be pressure on those gears. There's that's always fine. gonna be that's pressure. Fine. That bar can stay there, and I'm going to weld the bar, yeah. and then I'm going to weld weld all of the contact points of that entire mechanism. Yeah, all right. That so I can you're reach. Take it, so you are doing it, and take it, and rolling the dice with excessive amount of work put into it. Mine's behind. Is, That's not excessive. Yeah. No, it, it'd be I don't excessive. have to go to work anymore. I'm taking yeah. care yeah. of. All right. So <laughs> your your answer is you, you would you would you do it, it. You would bring it with the weld. Absolutely. Yeah. Because okay. then I would not only get a really rad fucking house, but I would also get the chance to study these spirits for an extended period of time in a controlled environment. How how's the how are the the writings on the glass? Are they etched? etched. Is it it is etched? My worry would be about you know. It, one of my if, kids going down and, and just scraping scratching. Them. Well, even just scratching it. <laughs> Which totally messes it up, and it's that's why the children no are not allowed down there. Yeah, but the ghosts okay. are trapped down although, there. Although the writing yeah, is on both sides. Yeah, this. yeah. The writing is on both sides yeah. of the glass, not just one. I wouldn't bring my family there. Yeah, I wouldn't trust I, it. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it. No. That's my answer. All right, Ragnar. Hmm. Knowing that these particular spirits are locked up. <sighs> Also knowing, once shit goes, if if shit goes sideways, hey, congratulations, you've opened up a doorway to hell. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no risk, mm -hmm. or not risking it. And you have to move your family in. Yes, you have to move your family. See that that okay. that's what fucked the uh, answer up. If it was by yourself, yeah, no. But if it's with your family, is I'm that, not risking my family. You, you plan on abandoning your family. I can just imagine my dogs going downstairs and getting. Are you planning on abandoning your family? I'm not, no. No. <laughs> All right. That's Hold on, on you. Hold on. He can just imagine his dogs. Yeah. Not his children. Not his going children. Going down there and not getting his ripped wife. apart. No, my yeah. children too. I mean, I, I just. <laughs> That's not what he said. No, but the thing is, I just imagine my, my children are teen are, are kids <laughs> that aren't going to go downstairs. Do not bullshit. go downstairs. Bullshit. Dogs. Bullshit. That's a no, different story. Bullshit. Bullshit. I guarantee Ron, you, your fucking if kids you will go down there. you are your youngest age. Uh, no. My, and your parents say, hey, 
Don't go down to this place. Yeah. No, I'm going to tell you this flat out. My youngest, if I say, there's ghosts down there, don't go down there. She won't go down. Ever. Ever. My my youngest okay. will not. She, your oldest? If you were your oldest age? My oldest is that that may be different than uh, my no, youngest. Exactly. There are monsters in the basement, and they want to peel your flesh from the bones. Don't there's, let them see you. There's pedophiles down there. We're living with pedophiles. Just let you know. All right. What the just you fuck? Know. Just let you know. You want to go down there and fuck, fuck around and find out? That's on you. Right. My kids ain't going down there. Wow. Right. My kids ain't going down there. For whatever reason, the Bob's Burger scene is playing. Yeah. We call exactly. this burger the molester. Why? Yes. What's your what's your what's your answer, Ragnar? Uh, no. Now, as enticing as it is, as as much protocol and safety would be involved and be there. At some point, I just set up a everything fails down there for the for the so like you can take a fucking cement truck and have all the fucking cement you want poured into those fucking gears. Last I checked, cement doesn't stop ghosts, but it stops everything from you fucking moving. Gears you, from oh, moving. cementing the gears. Sorry, yes. okay. My bad. I thought well, you were talking no about shit. I thought you were talking about dumping it into the basement. I was like, you're gonna break uh, you the glass. Could and dump get it in the, no, you could dump it in the basement, which will eventually cover the gears, and you just made yourself a solid foundation. No, no, no. If that That's cement comes you, down, you the weight of the solid ce- foundation. The weight of the All cement. Right. That's gonna break the glass. The weight of the cement. Uh, that's another point. Oh, yeah, no, no, because they said the glass was unbreakable. That's what they said. Mm. With cement? They that's, never said they, that. They said, they said it's shatterproof. Yes. It's right. cement did will it, go did through it, it. Did it shatter when it blew the fuck up? Well, yes. ghost. Well, ghost power. Yeah. All right, what, what's your answer, Stu? Power. What's your answer, Stu? Fuck no, I'm not doing that to my children. So there you go. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. We'd have the raddest You're the Halloween only one parties, willing though. to take your family yeah, it in there. It would be the amazing. fucking coolest Halloween party. Would I go visit Chase? him and Crystal. Yes, I absolutely would. I would 100% go and visit Chase. They got a great fucking time. They got dogs. Right. They, they have got, an odd dog. They got a dog. And, and yeah, he would probably stay the fuck like out you of there, said, I don't want my dogs going down there. Wait, so do they have to go inside the house? They yeah. live in the house, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, if they if they just have to go there, but they can sleep outside. Nope, good, live in the house. Good okay. question, Stu. Yeah. Yes, you're going to have a big mansion and make your family camp for years. <laughs> yeah. It's a douchebag move. Right? I'll be the one inside the house. No, I'm protecting you from ghosts. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm sacrificing so much. <laughs> I think we're. Oh. That's fucking great. Okay, so Good I question. guess I think that pretty much wraps it up. In that case, what are our pipe reviews? Let's start, Adam. Um, it's gonna be hard to do. It is. Nah. Hey, do we have any single servings of the uh, more enjoyment? I believe in the bun- barrel punishment. I'll give it three and a half. It was fun. Um, you almost ripped down the fucking camera. I was just saying, yeah, it's like saw the wires on the cameras. Are the views so good? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, everything looks good. Try, sorry, I was trying to see what the Twitch was saying. Um, it, it was it was fun. I uh, li- liked how they incorporated all the yeah you know, the different ghosts and stuff like that, and how they brought them in and 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 everything. Um, critical. Three. They could have made the, the Story seemed to have some plot holes to it. Yeah. Um, could have filled those a little bit better. I, I kind of agree with you a little bit on backstory, but I don't know how they could have done it without adding too much time. So, but it, but yeah, it would have been nice to know a little bit more. It would just give you a, a little bit movie. more in. Uh, yeah, but I just don't know how to do it without commitment adding to a lot the of characters, time. you know? That, yeah. That's it. That's the thing. So, yes, yeah, so that's, that's my score. Ragnar? Enjoyment four, critically three and a half. Uh, for the time frame, it was pretty fucking well done. Yeah. Um, uh, 
I think a little bit. It would have been tough to try to add some sort of backstory for every single fucking ghost. But in the DVD, that's why they have that as a special feature. Um, that was a great special feature. Yeah, it is. It was. It's over, yeah. I think it's like 15, 20 minutes long, too. It was a great special feature. I remember watching that when it first came out. Mm -hmm. um, ghost Files. It's, it's a fun movie. It's a fucking classic. Uh, and I, I really hope that eventually they will do a series of... This deserves like a miniseries. All of the fucking yeah. ghosts, you know, because even it, especially if you don't, if you just watch it on TV, right? You're not able to see the special features for it. Yeah. So you actually have to do some fucking sort of hunting on it. Yeah. Um, now, if they do a series on this, let me pre preface this. Do you feel this movie was a little bit campy? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. It's very campy. Do you? Want them to go serious? More House on Haunted Hill Netflix remake seriousness. I want. Or Penny do you Dreadful. want them to have a little bit of campiness? Good series. I I want I want Penny Dreadful level miniseries. Okay. That that darkness. That, yeah. That, that could work. Really. Oh, dead serious. Or American Horror Stories. I would love it. A little it bit done. of lightness. But so very little, gritty. See, I think if they put it on Netflix, a yeah. little bit of both would, I yeah. think, fit. Like, my really first thought is. I don't really my think first Netflix, thought is. No, I, think on, I think it'd be better off on. I think it'd be better off on Shudder. But no, Netflix, not everyone I, has yeah, Shudder. I'm looking though. at Netflix just mm. because, like I said, what they did with that's House the on most Hill, ubiquitous. Um, yeah. And they have a fuck ton more money than Shudder does in uh, order to. Shudder goes more for B rated yeah. movies, and that's what this so, is. So, yeah, but. You want it. I think campy keep... like this remake, can't, super campy like the original, or super serious and fucked up like the House on Hill. Add yeah. that question to your pint reviews because I think that would be good for everybody yeah. to see. Would you like it serious or campy? See, I think. I think we'd all agree we'd like we'd be we'd be interesting in watching a series. Well, I'd this. watch a series on but that, especially if it did one you, on each ghost. How would you want to watch it? I, I almost yeah. thinking of like a Tales from the Crypt episode where it's got a story from each of each. Yeah, ghost. but what I'm saying, what tone would you? I'd want? go. I honestly, think I like a little campy. bit of both. I like campy. Honestly, <coughs> excuse me, some form of seriousness because um, each ghost, I believe, does have some a serious side to their story. Obviously, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and the campiness <sighs> of it would ultimately fit in with the entire film itself you know especially when if like at the say the last episode of that particular ghost right you have cyrus coming in and capturing him you know so i think that sort of campiness there would work out well so you think it. It a little of both basically with still yeah. being matthew Lillard. yeah oh yeah him, him absolutely reprising the role yeah know. Yeah, do you th I, I think that would be or good. Or should he be Cyrus? <laughs> no, 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 I want him to still be the same role. You still want him as yeah, Dennis? I, I thought, love I thought him. he did really fucking well. He did, he did fantastic. This is this is a role that you never thought to see him in because oh, he's no. played. Oh no, no, when, no, when I saw is, him, this in, is a, a, a benchmark role for him. No, yeah, I see um, in scary movie, not scary movie, Scream. Mm. Um, like scream. when he gets fucked up. And it's hurting and shit like that at the end, and he gets stabbed and he's losing the blood. That type of that manicness. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, you, I thought you were talking about bringing to the. Yeah. I thought you were talking about. And he did it perfectly Abram. in that office scene when he falls on the floor. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I thought you were talking about a different actor. Like, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, man. <laughs> yeah. I hate his voice. Though. I, he, I think he's Fuck a little. He, I think he's over the that's top. No. I know. I know. But I think it's way too over the no, top. That's what kind of. That's the point. That's about my pie review. Yeah, I know. I'll talk about it in my part. Fucking hackers. All right. Yes. But, yeah. He was fun in that, though. Yeah, he was. He was fun in that. Hackers is a fun movie. Matthew Lillard's fantastic. I, 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 I still like, think Scream is his, Scream is his He's best. He's goddamn one. Shaggy. Hell yeah. He is fucking Shaggy. <laughs> you will never All understand right? the power of Shaggy. That's what Eddie was even, say, was even saying was we were watching. She was like, I hear Shaggy as he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If he said fucking goddamn zoinks, all right, I would have lost my shit. <laughs> zoinks? Uh, <yeah. laughs> like zoinks, man. Yes. Yep. <laughs>
Okay. So that's it. So Ron, what is yours? Um, <clears throat> it's good rating. Um, it's phenomenal. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go for a four, but I'll go for three and three, uh, three quarters. Three and three quarters. Yeah. I th- this movie's fun. It, it's a good time. It's a good time to watch. Not that even a Halloween movie, right? Huh? That was your enjoyment, right? Yeah. Okay. That's my enjoyment. Yeah. It's a good time. I I can watch this anytime. It's fun. The the makeup effects are great. The, the special effects are great. Yeah, there's bloopers. You know, you see the guys in the uh, uh, the glass, everything else. But yeah, it's a glass house. Of course, there's gonna be bloopers like that. They, they can't get it all um, with the editing and stuff like that. But I mean, it's it's a fun movie. I love the Juggernaut. I love Matthew Lillard's even. He's over the top, but it's like you said, it's Matthew Lillard and everything else. Um, I thought the kid was annoying. And the Rod Digger uh, uh, maid chick was kind of annoying too, but she was a nanny, not a, not a maid. Oh, whatever, she nanny. Was a fucking yeah. cleaning service. That's right. I think she even said that at the end of the uh, episode. I am not cleaning this house or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't do windows. Yeah. I don't do windows. <laughs> that would take so long. Yeah. <laughs> but your Windex you bill alone. Right? I would like to see, and if I were to pick the uh, the question that you had about the uh, series. Um, I mean more campiness because I'd like to go with the exact same. I'd like it to conclude with the series. Like basically, this, yeah. it would be in the same vein. I don't want to change. I, I actually like the way they did. Um, I do like how they did that little thing with the book where it showed like the uh, the drawing of the oh, uh, thirteen yeah. ghosts compared to I what they were. I was really wanting to, to so you can buy uh, a you can rend- buy the book a rendition of that book. Yeah, that that's beautiful. Those, those are beautiful little drawings. Like the, yeah. each one looks different, but they also look exactly like their character even though some of them are modern some of them are uh antique basically yeah yeah I, I enjoyed it now if i were to do a critical for this movie i can Why do you phrase it like that way if i were to do a critical like the hypothetical we are asking you for a critical it is i don't know i'm just asking myself <laughs> fucking goddamn thing i'm just asking myself i don't know i just that's the way i talk that's not, you know this is the way i do you my do critical review. you just a lot and i just always been curious that's unique phrasing. That's the way I do it. Think about why. I don't know. I don't have an answer. I just do it. There you go. That's my if answer. If I was to stub my toe, is that what I think it would feel like? Um, <laughs> it's the way I talk. You tell me to talk the way I talk. That's the way I say things. I do it in every No episode. one tells you to talk the way you talk. You fucking do it anyway. Exactly. There you go. And I fuck every word up. <laughs> Words are hard. That's my phrase. There's the past. So anyways, uh, so critical, I would give this... Two and a half. It's a two and a half. This is not a well-made oh, movie. No, I'm sorry. This is not a well-made movie. Yes, the the storyline is is done well with the whole, you know, the uh, backgrounds of the stories, but that's not in the movie. That's in a special feature. It's cool. And I understand that it would be cool that it was put in the movie, but, you know, you said how it would add minutes to the movie. But the movie's not really well-made. I mean, yeah, there's fast direction the and everything else. It doesn't feel that long, though. It, it, that's why I don't think it would... It's just that there's some there's some bad there's not the best acting it's not the best writing it's just not a perfect horror movie no it's, it's not a perfect, fun no. horror movie it's yeah. fun I'm not giving any faults to this like three and three quarters to me is still it's almost near a four for an enjoyment for a critical it's it's not a good movie there's not yeah, many I, if I had to pick a better movie out of the Dark Horse it'd be House of Haunted Hill and that one's still not even a good movie but, but it's Halloween my series. it's my pick huh what about about a Halloween series. Which one do you think? Uh, Which one's better? Yeah, the whole series all together, even yeah. the six the, and the five. Year. Oh, the new ones? No, of of this year's Halloween series that we've done. Where would you put this? Put them on the spot. Yeah, I say the middle. There's some in there because my movies, Demon Knight and Bordello of Blood, are probably in the same vein as this movie. I'm not going to so say those. Or below this. No, they're highly enjoyable, but they are so critically above bad. Or below this. Equal. Equal. Yes, equal to those. That's what I would say. Seriously, I the enjoyment in those are great. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not. Sure. I'm not going to talk about that. You all have to listen to that episode when you find out. But the thing is, is that 13 Ghosts and those series that I did, 28 Days and 28 Weeks, I'd say is better. And then I, I'm not going into this. What, what, you're, you're trying to give me my the heads up and everything else. I, I know what he's doing, and you're, you're even laughing and looking at him. But the fact is, yeah, no, I I would go um, three and three quarters. You have me four and uh, two and a half for critical. So there you go. That's mine. 
cool. <laughs> Stu? Please don't hurt me like that. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. um, enjoyment, I will give it a, a three and three quarters. I will. It's fun. It is enjoyable. It sticks with you. Um, I enjoyed the uh, the characters. I enjoyed the actors. I think very memorable visual effects. Most of um, The ghosts were done well. The makeup was great. The the setting was amazing. It, it is a setting that is you're going to remember. That is such a very unique mm-hmm. feeling of a place. Mm-hmm. Um, so Something I enjoyed it. I enjoyed see. it exactly. So. Um, critical. <clears throat> the writing isn't the strongest, but the fast cuts and what it was trying to give you. Yeah, I was like, okay, I understood why the. the the decisions they made um they wanted it to be fast they wanted it to be action heavy they wanted you to be on the edge the entire time and so they sacrificed certain filler elements that would more round out the characters more give you a a fuller story in exchange for keeping up the pace of the film and I'm like, okay, that's a, a decision. I understand that decision. And especially at that time frame, it gave a very rememberable. Rememberable. Yes. <laughs> because they're not the first one to do it. Yeah. All right. If it was the first one to do it, then it'd be a memorable situation. <laughs> it's not the first one to do it. So they're okay. a rememberable situation. Um, you can quote me on that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so I thought that since because they made those choices and I understood those choices, I will probably give this a three and a half critically. Um, it is campy hundred percent, but in a good fun way, it fit the tone that you're going for. Um, like I said, some of the, the writing kind of weak. Some of the actors were definitely chewing up the scenery. They were having a good time. You could tell they're having a good time. Um, and I'm all about it. I'm, I, I enjoy films where you can tell the actors are having enjoyment Fun. themselves. Yeah. It makes it more enjoyable. Yeah. But does that necessarily mean they're critically good? Not necessarily. Um, but this is a movie that I've talked about numerous times and suggested to people and almost everybody that i've talked to about this over the years or mentioned this oh i love that that. yeah Yeah. they're like oh yeah that was a great movie that was a fun movie um i've heard nothing but good yes i don't think i've heard somebody shit on this film it's shocking because the rotten tomato score for this is so low no even the user score is low which 48 percent and that shocks the hell out of me it's 18 percent, which i disagree with the critics the critics are fucked up on that but the user score yeah. Is even rotten, That's which weird. I was shocked at. I thought it'd be at least like 60 or 50. And if it was something that, you know, every other person I talked to was like, that was a shit movie. And I would expect that. I don't think I've talked to a single person who didn't enjoy this film. Yeah. It's in some f- way. Yeah. It's a fun horror movie. That's what it is. It's yeah. a fun That's all horror it needs movie. to be. Yeah. That's yep. all it needs to be. It's not a perfect movie. If I a- see a remake of this happening or a, a long form storytelling, <laughs> I kind of want them to take the tone of Black Mirror, where it's serious, but also it's got some comedy baked into it. Yeah. Um, well, let me ask you this. And, 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 and it draws on certain emotions, um, including tenseness and everything. It doesn't have to necessarily go overboard or anything, but it paints the story enough emotionality that you're like, Ooh, I just, oh, that's I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Right. <laughs> well, but, yeah. I think they could do really well by giving you um, the backgrounds on the ghosts that you kind of understand and kind yeah. of understand the motivations. But at the same time, you're like, that's really fucked up. Oh, uh, oh, uh. yeah. <laughs> All right. What yeah. makes like, you? Yeah. What is yeah. your favorite? Like, do you feel like this movie is a bad horror movie? Like, when we did our tasting yeah. room that's coming up this Thursday, is this a bad horror movie? That is good. Because nobody brought the. I, no. Oh, we, no, because critically, I think it's above average. 
You think this is above average over a bad Critically, one? it is above average. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so far it's been... What was your what was your critical? If two point five is an average critical two film, and a half. yours was two and a half. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and two and a half. Yours was over two three and, and a half. half. Three, three and a half. half. Yeah, three. Three. Yeah. So it's above average. No, not enjoyment. So that's the thing. It, to me, it's not a. It's not a. We're not talking about enjoyment. We're, we're talking, talking about, about no the critical critical. critical yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that, so. but, but the, I can't so complain. If critically it's above average, then how can we turn around and also say it's a bad movie? Uh, I, critically, Tremors, bad movie. Yes. Super enjoyable, super fun. Love the fuck out of it. So you'd give the movie it is a bad movie. Critically, you'd give that like almost lower than this. Yes. Critically, would yes. you disagree with that? Because I would disagree with that. I think Trimmers is a great. Fu- I, I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're uh, an enjoyable movie. Yes. No, even critically. Critically, I think Trimmers is, it's not. I think critically, Trimmers you think is the a, acting in Trimmers. It's better than the, this. Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward. They're were great. In they're overacting. They're I every fucking their piece of scenery there is. Oh, they're. I think they were fun. They're, they're fun. I think they were fun. Super fun. Compared to this, super fun. I'm sorry, but the acting in this scenery. was Eat, no. Matthew Lillard. I mean. F- Matthew Lillard was understandably the kid Shannon insane. Elizabeth. I'm um, the Rod Digga. I'm sorry, they, their acting is nothing. No, I, uh, I disagree. Yeah. I Rod disagree. Digga's acting was pretty poor. But, Rod Digga's acting was just more reacting. But it was like, these yeah. motherfucking yeah. crazy ass yeah. white people. But fuck this it shit. was <laughs> utilized. Right, what the fuck is this was, shit? Yeah, but she was utilized in that comic levity. Yeah. Okay. Because they knew it wasn't going to be good. Yeah. All right. So. But I, yeah, I, I don't think this is a bad movie. Tremors is a bad movie that is awesome. Critters, bad movie. No, that's that a bad is movie. Awesome. That's a bad movie. But All I don't right. see Tremors being a bad Jason movie. X. Number two, very bad movie. Yeah, yeah, that, that is, is trash. But it's awesome. stupid fun though. Yeah, but Thirteen Ghosts is better. Okay, critically, Sleep- yes. Honestly, if you want to be you think, if you want to be critical you think about Sleepaway it, Camp you know, look, is better look at the critically than this. Out of your mind, it's eighties. It's eighties. There's a huge difference between that and, and the two thousands. Friday the Thirteenth, one, two, Friday the Thirteenth, three. Critically are, over this. Yes, they are. That's why they are not critically bad movies. Even Part Four of J. But Friday. No, no, you're saying eight. Though, oh, oh, Sleepaway Camp. That's an eighties movie. So yeah, you give leeway. All right, so you give him leeway. I, I find it so, almost equal. Oh, no. I disagree. I'd find it equal. You're wrong. No, that's fine. You're you wrong can't, too. You can't <laughs> give it leeway because it's an '80s film. Mm-hmm. If you're not, also then I think giving this extra over points the... to '80s films that were done well, such as okay, we could uh, we could agree to disagree, but I mean, I, I right. to me, this is a bad movie. I'm right on the street. It's a fun movie. It is a bad, but movie. it's a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Nobody's arguing that. No, you said it wasn't a bad movie. I don't think it's You a bad think movie. it's critically There you go. Yeah, you no. said it's a bad movie. It's critically above average, so yes. thereby how can we say it's a bad movie? It's critically above average. Yes. From us. But yes. User no, user scores rotten. I'm saying from us. Okay, from yes. us. All right. If you're going by us. Yeah. All right. How can I turn around and the say sco- it's a bad the movie? Scores that if you I'm go giving by. it a higher I'm, not, I'm going by the score. user score. I'm not going I know. by the, the, you, the both of them. Even uh, you are, are giving it an average score. You sc- are giving it a directly down the middle average critical score. Because to me, it's All an right. average movie, which thereby doesn't mean it's a bad movie. If it's an average movie, it thereby means it's not bad. It's average. There are some movies it's that a were C movie. All right, in, in your yeah. mind. All right, Holy this is a failure of a movie. Critically, that is so fucking horrible. People that under you the still stairs. enjoy it. People under the stairs. Critically, worse than this. Enjoyment wise, better than this. I have to dis. I, I, like I said, I guess we all have our different mm-hmm. opinions. This, this is a different opinion. All right, Chase, end the show. I'm curious what yours is now. <laughs> I'm just blown away by this last conversation. Um, it, it's it's very it just I'm how we all diverse. I'm giving it points. Yeah, enjoyability. I'm giving it a four. I really enjoy this movie. It is a super fun movie. I would put it on a must watch for Halloween. Oh yeah. Um, I mean there are a lot of those out there. Um, 
Is this your favorite out of the Dark Castle remix or films altogether? You know, Ghost Ship, House on a Hill, House of Wax, Gothica. I've seen them all. I don't remember them all very well. I have a really bad memory when it comes to that. Oh, okay. Um, but I know that I saw this in 2001, a year after it came out. Yeah. And have pretty much always loved it. Yeah. Um, it's a staple of spooky season. That's why I've been wanting to do this for so many years. This is a great Halloween one. Um, but I will also admit, critically, it does have its shortcomings. That being said, it had the some of the most cutting edge special effects. They made a great use of the the manic cutaways to instill that rapid fire pace for you with the the ghost scenes. They did a phenomenal job on makeup. The some of the ghost actors overdid their their acting. Which ones? Um, the hammer. I think he did a great job, but walked the line of being between intimidating and goofy. Talking about his like facial expressions that he did. Yeah. Okay, I can understand. That. And um, the the slight overbuilding of the makeup on on the juggernaut made him feel again on the line between. Intimidating and cartoonish. You look like a big muscle zombie. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, so they could have made it a little bit more. And that's what I've been waiting for. I am getting fucked tonight with punishment. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what that's from. That fucking sucks. <laughs> I, uh, I, I got it. I, 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 it's my. I get a fucking cock again. I swear to God. <laughs> that would just be amazing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. No. Oh, let's grab something yummy. I don't know. Look at it. Well, I thought you could see it in the thing. Oh, okay. Good. Let's grab something yummy. <laughs> I was hoping for a self destruct. I was like, good. We're all when we fucked. When we took a, took a break last time, y'all grab got up and yummy. I still had my headphones on and I heard that. I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to say anything. It's going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't have mine on, so I didn't hear it. But um, I saw it pop up. Critically, I will give this a three and a half. Ooh. Okay. They had shortcomings, but they made do with the phenomenal toolbox. And I think they set the... They set a bar. I'm not going to say they set the bar to compare everything to. But for the time this came out, they did a great job between set design, special effects, and makeup. There were not a whole lot of other movies at that time coming out that were making such heavy use of theatrical art. They did a great job with it. I think with a couple tweaks here and there, this could have been a shit yourself kind of movie. But they chose to stick with a little bit of comic levity, and I, I can appreciate that. It worked for the film. It, it did. It did. Because, you know, who they had... They were not A-list actors at the time. They weren't counting on have, being able to deliver 100% holy shit moments every turn of the camera. Right. So they did well with what they had, and I appreciate that. But I'm not going to give it anywhere near a five for it. I'm just recognizing what they put in. Okay. And they put in a fuck ton. And it turned out well, because I think this is really a cult classic. Everybody knows who you're talking about when you bring up the Jackal. Everybody knows what, who you're talking about when you... Uh, no, I brought up the Juggernaut and people were like, what, are you talking about X-Men? No. <laughs> when you bring the, the Torn Prince yeah. or the Angry Princess, they know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, I love this movie. It's a staple of Halloween to me. I hope you guys do too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, tune in. See us on YouTube, Spotify, and fucking everything else out there. Give us a follow. We're on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And ring a ling, that ding a ling. There we go. Get your notifications. Smash come in. that like button. Chat with us on and Twitch. Also, we have to give you a big 
Happy Halloween. One, <laughs> two, three. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. What the fuck? Did you hear Hanukkah? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and also, make sure to check out our episode next week for No Country for Old Men. Ooh. We hope you guys had a great Halloween, and we will see you all later. Too make late. sure you check Why your pages. Why is it a country for young men? Why is it? I don't know. Is, that's it, what is, it it, is. is it a country for young men, or is it just a country like for no old men? Or... Like, are old men not around no anymore? No country uh-huh. for the old men. Yeah. Huh? Later, guys. I mean, are, like, all the old people dead now, or is it... What, what the fuck? We're out. They got the old...